Uh, Dune, why don't you introduce all of us? Hello, welcome everyone to the Yurtcast, and I am Jay Dune, the most important author that is going to be featured on this podcast, with my <laughs> companion, Rounder House. You might know him as the author of SCP-6000, and also SCP-400-something, The Beast Pits, and also... Oh, okay, fuck you. First of all, fuck Blake, you. PJP! Hi. And Jack. Hey. Jack's here too. Jack Dragon. Yeah. I'm no, I'm yeah, hi. That's hi, Jack. Hi. Okay, hi, Jack. well welcome done. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, hi, Jack. <laughs> w- w- welcome to the podcast, Jack. Jack, do you know what we're going to be doing today? No, no one's told me anything. I've been I've been chained up to a wall for like three days with this not yep. with the lack of knowledge that the, you know no one's told me anything. Okay. I like when the fear flavor seeps into the meat. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Can you elaborate? No. Okay. Okay, Jack. Why don't you Why don't you introduce yourself and talk about uh, what you've written for this wiki while I uh, while I set up the things I should have set up like two hours ago. Oh, uh, okay. I'm I'm Jack. In case no one knew that, um, I, I've written SCP sixty two hundred. Uh, what was the other one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, sixty six ninety, and um. Five, three, four, six. Uh, those are the three that I can think of off the top of my head. I have wrote SCP six through two two hundred. I have done that. Um, that includes the um, what is it? The the piss boy statue, whatever. Oh, um, what? what? <laughs> Shut up! I I can't think straight. We're uh, barely two minutes in and it's already turned to piss. <laughs> I can't help it, man. It's just attractive. No. Yeah, tell us about rich. Gump. Why? I've talked about, about this article so much. It's it's oh, a, talk um, about it more. It's based off a real story. Um, my oh. father is a huge conspiracy nerd. Um, he 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 has this huge stickler, his huge uh thing about the world being flat and uh, Bill Gates trying to. Wait, your dad's a flat earther? Hold on, I'm fucking yeah, cancel everything else. Sure I need to hear this. My, Continue, please. Okay, um, so my dad is a huge, huge conspiracy nut. He he doesn't he he believes NASA is full of uh, Nazis. Um, he yeah, believes right. that uh, the world is flat. Um, there's no okay. mistaking it. Even though him and I watched the um the excuse me, sorry, my cat. What are you doing? Okay, my cat. Ignore the feeling. Sorry. Um, so I'm trying to think here. What all he's done? He's gone. He's gone through some bizarre stuff. Does he think the moon's a hologram? No, he um he doesn't actually. He thinks the moon. Oh, the could... moon is real. He thinks the moon. <laughs> the moon is real. It's just that the Earth is flat. So like the moon is round, and the Earth is flat. Right. The, he thinks the moon emits its own light. He thinks gravity doesn't exist. That it's all actually density. Um. I've always yeah, wondered what like flat Earthers think of like other planets. Like, do they think other planets are also I, flat, I or is it just thing that was like? I'm pretty, sure they, like, I'm pretty sure they think uh, images of other planets are doctored by NASA, and it's a massive global conspiracy to uh, prevent everyone from realizing that there are other flat worlds out there. I, they but think why? Like, Earth, what's the, that Mars okay. was round because they have pictures of Mars being round, but not Earth, because those are all fake, but the Mars ones are real. Insane. He thinks that nothing from NASA is real, actually, and that every, everything that's provided from NASA is, is doctored and fake. Um, he doesn't trust NASA. Like I said, he thinks they're all Nazis. Um, I'm trying to think of what okay, else. I'm trying to think of whether I should let Jack continue on this bizarre tangent that's insanely entertaining or actually start. There's so much. Just keep going. We, we, we can talk about it later. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot that he's told okay. me. Okay, we'll, we'll start he, later. For now, we'll, we'll now we'll continue. One second. Let me let me stream it. Uh, two. <laughs> He knows what's about to happen. He's excited. Steph said something really funny. Okay, so for today's uh, for today's episode of Yardcast, we're going to be having all the GOIs on a list, and and we're going to have uh, Jack uh, rank them in order of how much sex they have. Uh, generally, uh, we have the whole tier list laid out here kidding? for Jack. Please read the tier list out, okay, Jack. Okay, hang on. The stream is still loading. Now, Jack, if you don't know what a group of interest is or what the whole deal is, well, I will be honest you. here. I know, I know you. You're not the biggest reader of the SCP wiki. That's not. I've actually been getting into reading more. Um, Did you problem, read 173 yet? 
Unfortunately, I've I've been trying to stay away from that one. Um, okay. it's just too long. Uh, Jack, 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 Jack. Oh, I was just making sure okay. you can hear me. Okay. So the tier list from top to bottom: uh, Sigma Nine Male, um, and then the second the tier after is Fux. Um, the tier after that has reached second base. Um, the tier after has no need, or there's no physical need for sex, rather, but maybe intimate, you know, emotional needs. Um, the one that under that is some V word. Uh, the word that, that means that's a that's a that's a what's it called? What's the portman to for voluntarily celibate? That means they don't like, have like sex. Like a monk. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah exactly like a monk. You can have <laughs> sex, but don't. Okay. Um, the one after that is desperate. And the uh, the one after. What after that, Jack? Okay, we finally what got after it. After that is uh, is incel. I'm really glad that I at least ranked second. Slightly of incel. Slightly. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna be honest. I just wanna make sure. Is ever can everyone see the stream? All right. Just let me know. I would need um. I need access to this um. To this tier. Are, are no, you, you need to tell me. You need you're, you. I need you need to tell me and give a good explanation for your thing, and then I'll put it up. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll be honest. There, there are quite a few GOIs that I just. Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through the list. It's fine. Uh, one second. I just want to make sure. Uh, dude. There's just stream... some GOCs that genuinely just don't interest me, like Ambrose. I Most of them suck. Interested. Like I'm just gonna say it. Mo yeah. Okay. Well, dude, I, they I'm... can't see it. Uh, Eleni can see it. We're I'm going through a mess back here. With I can see it. All of them. I just. In depth knowledge only goes down to like a few that I've picked he out. He said some like, GOCs don't interest me. Okay. Well, that's fine. If most people can see it, I don't give a shit. GOI, sorry, Dagon's not GOCs. Ingenious. GOC is not really interesting. They're gonna get better Wi Fi. There we go. They can, can get better. It. Okay, he can see it now. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with. We can go. We can go alphabetically, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's just progress. Hold on. Let's. Let me here. I'm running too many tabs, and my computer is getting hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna open the GOI list on my phone. Yeah, I'm gonna also open up a GOI. A G a <laughs> yep, that was a word. That was a word. Okay. Okay. I always. I don't know. Alexa. Alex. Alexa. Alex, Are you trying to pull Alexa? up the GOI list on Alexa? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my Alexa turned on. Shh, shut up. He keeps turning it on by saying Alexa. I'm not even gonna say the word. Should we just go? Should we just? Should we just start? Is that what we're? Yeah. Doing? Okay. We're gonna start. Th yeah. We're gonna start. Okay. okay. Uh, the A, A University. Um, uh, what was the? What was the list? It's not kidding. <laughs> just uh, A University. A. I can't. I'm gonna add this to my see Alexa, and I'm gonna dox myself by accident. Okay. Uh, I don't think I've read a single. Don't even start. Case, but... I wrote the hub and I still don't understand what the hell their deal is. Is this Deer College? No, no this is like worse OG Deer College. Right, I don't, I don't get that. Oh, I wanna, gonna... hold on, hold on. Uh, before we start, I wanna make the disclaimer that if you are a considerable author for any of these GOIs, uh, <laughs> sorry, really because we're going to insult the shit out of them. We don't right. care whether you put, I'm yeah, gonna we try don't to, care. I'm, I'm gonna try to shit and compliment all the GOIs that I can okay. think of. Um, so yeah, Alex Alexa, is that what it says? Is that it? University? Alex Silva. Alex Silva. Alex Silva. Okay. Yeah. No, Alexa, I'm not talking to you, you dumbass. Um, it's see the issue is I've never differentiated it from Deer College. Um, just because I don't care. But okay. So I, what we're I, going I, to do is I've decided to make this rule up on the spot. We're going to trade off spots. So for this one, I'm going to uh, give the okay. explanation of the GOI to uh, Jack, and he has to rank it based entirely off that explanation, how much okay. sex they have. And then okay. Dune will come up after, and then Plague can do after that. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, okay. Alex Silva University. Uh, I wrote the hub for this, like I said. Uh, I don't understand anything about it. I know that Harmony wrote like nine of the articles, which is like the extent of my authorial history about it. Uh, it is a university that's like set in some alternate universe or some bullshit where like Carthage or no. Yeah, Carthage and Rome allied themselves and they 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 won they like settled the Punic War. I don't think Jack even knows what a Punic War is, so I'm not I don't know why I'm explaining this. Uh it's but like, feel like a pubic war? A pubic war? <laughs> you tell, I've never read anything yeah, actually, yeah. You, you, you raises a good point. Why is why is the author base of Alex Silva so cursed? It has Escobar, it has Harmony. Oh. Uh, who else? There's another. I think Bijan wrote something for it. Oh my god. Founder House. Divisional. Okay, I'm getting distracted, aren't I? Yeah, you sure are. 
Okay, anyway, it's it's a it's a university set in a world where Carthage and Rome allied and uh, they settled the Punic War and they made a bunch of like very Percy Jackson-esque uh, anomalies and they occasionally cross over into our universe which, through a poorly explained method that is really like, it's just bad. I don't know why I'm wasting time on this when it's like by far our worst GOI. Okay, yeah. continue, Jack. So Jack, here, here's, here's, here's my thinking. Here's my thinking. Um, it sounds like it sucks. It sounds like it should be in cell level, but because it's located in Tennessee. No, I um, mean, wait, 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 because because it's all like Greeks and Romans, right? And you right, know, Greeks right. they had tons of sex. Like they were you know, all yeah, in there. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what I'm yeah. saying, though. That's that's what I'm saying. Like I don't think it's in cell level, just because like you know I don't I don't, I'm not gonna give it that um, because mainly it's in Tennessee and Tennessee's the shit. Yeah, Lizard um, has so, a good point. Greeks have a ton of sex. So do college students. So there's like a there's a there's oh, a yeah. thing going so on. I'm gonna say desperate. Here. I'm gonna say desperate. I think I think it's it's fair to put it at desperate because it, it sucks. Like it's it's a, it's a sucky GOI. But yeah, yeah, we're ranking these by how much the members well, that's what I mean. of the I mean. GOI have sex. They're a bunch of Greeks I, and they're also public. How are they here. not fucking? <laughs> because they just suck. <laughs> That's that's. Okay, I mean, sucking, suck. sucking is technically. I would say sucking ca- falls under the umbrella of sex. Right. Well, not like they're yeah. not. They're not sucking to have a good time. They just suck to suck. You know. I, think, I mean, I, I haven't. Call. We all suck to suck at some point or another. It's it's like it's like you know. Would you rather take five dollars or twenty five dollars? Like. What? <laughs> what is that even about? Me? I'm I think on top of like the in universe like. <laughs> how that how we associate that with the amount of sex they have we have to bring into account our opinions on the goi so we have to balance that out yeah i'm, I'm gonna be okay right now that he's straight out straight up wrong because I okay well regardless of whether the members have sex there hasn't been an article since this was written so i guess they like the they, they something happened to them and now they're incels we're, we're I don't think they're in cell level. Well, I'm putting it like collectively. Like I'm like collectively pulling them together. Like sure, like some people from the university may have had some good times, but like collectively they all just you know are virgins. That's my that's my I head think, canon. I, mean, so, I think they should be in desperate. Just I think so. they I agree with desperate. desperate. I that's what I was saying. You know what? I would put them in fucks. I know yeah. I'm gonna be the outlier, I think but I put them in fucks. That's I think that's too much. Points. That gives them too much credit. Okay, uh, we've made we've we've made our first GOI decision, guys. Good job. Yeah. Whatever. Very nice. You can't demote me, Yui. I'm more powerful than you. I have a podcast now. I have a podcast now. One second. All the right. GOI, Am I handling GOI the next list. one? Yes, you're handling the next one. That would be Ambro. Oh God, Ambrose oh, Restaurant. Ambrose. Okay, Jack. Ambrose is a. Let me try to explain. I think Ambrose is a chain of anomalous restaurants that's run by a vampire, I, I believe. He is. He's not I've a vampire, he's a cannibal. He's a cannibal. Yeah, he's a cannibal. I've read maybe one Ambrose article. All I know is that people like to clown on Ambrose because they're like, anomalous food. What? It sucks. But so, I, don't, I don't know what their deal is. They're, they're, they make anomalous food, so uh, I'm gonna say that they fuck, but that's it's off, it's obviously up to you. I, so here's the thing. Um, here's the, I know that there was an Ambrose con, one point, and that honestly oh, is that honestly to me screams incel. That you need a, you need an entire artificial contest to bring about this dead GUI. Well, and, and by the way, by the way, JamCon last year, the worst theme on JamCon JamCon that year was delicious, and that that correlates to you know that correlates to Ambrose. And really, I couldn't imagine anyone working at Ambrose and getting you know good sex time like i i just can't I, good sex I, time <laughs> fucking caveman <laughs> good sex time ooga booga so, I, I'm, I'm gonna say i'm gonna say incel and i honestly never found any interest in um in, in ambrose like ever like i i looked at an article the only article that i thought was interesting with ambrose in it um was the one that was posted on the uh, gift exchange um the one with all the uh it was like the GOC. Okay. Uh, the audience stopped being funny, so I removed their ability to send mess or send images or gifts. So fuck you guys, first of all. Okay, continue. I'm boring. Look, Ambrose is it, it, it's incel. That's what I'm saying, and you don't have to agree with it. But this is my tier list, so you know whatever. Okay. I, actually, on second thought, I'm gonna agree with you because the only Ambrose article I've read 
is uh, Kaiju Caviar from the War on All Fronts canon. Should we read articles for these GOIs or is that going too far? Oh, fuck. My, my oh, fuck. Way too long. Was, how about we should get the tier list done and then whichever ones that we had serious issues with, we'll go back and read an article. Okay, that's a good idea. So, yeah. So we're not, we're not wasting so much time with just reading because we're going to be nice reading GOI read. formats and you want to retain this audience? <laughs> Yeah, Kirby has a point. This is an SCP podcast. Nobody cares about reading. Right. So Ambrose is incel. I think we can agree. I right. actually, I'll, I'll, I'll agree. I put him in Jack tier. I yeah, put him in Jack, Jack tier. tier. I think Jack tier is the thing. Because yeah. I know. Because when I modeled, what's it called? Uh, when I when I was doing Ambrose Con, I modeled uh, Chaz Ambrose, like his new characterization, specifically after fucking shit. What's his name? What's the guy from American Psycho? Patrick Bateman. Patrick Bateman, yeah. Patrick Bateman. Uh, way too fast. <laughs> uh, hey, Plague! I, yo. Very nice. Let's see Plague's business card. Uh, no. Anyway, when I when I was making Ambrose Con, or when I and Radgirl did Ambrose Con, uh, I modeled uh, Chaz Ambrose's personality very directly off uh patrick bateman if you've ever seen american psycho you do know that this is not i'm not endorsing what patrick bateman does but i'm just saying that like mechanically and objectively patrick bateman did have a lot of sex like he murdered all of them after but he did have a lot of sex you can't thought, deny that i thought bateman, but <laughs> you also, do you do hey, under the circumstances the have to give patrick? it to him wait wait hang on i thought bateman i have read the book you he had a lot of sex in the book too hang on wait wait batman what? <laughs> Not Batman. Patrick Bateman is Christian Bale, who is Batman. I thought you said Patrick you Batman. You wanted was to like, there, but was it, like Batman is Bruce Wayne's deal. Who the fuck is Patrick? <laughs> That's like a starfish. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this is the best decision I ever could have made for the cast. I was so confused for like half a second because I was like, who the fuck is, is No, Bruce have you Wayne? never seen American Psycho? No, I haven't seen. American Psycho. I'm gonna, not gonna look into no, that. No, I. I, <laughs> it actually was. I tell someone that they're okay, okay, I, agree, I agree with that. Ambrose is, goes into the Jack category only if. The, <laughs> if the, Why did we convince him he goes into the Jack category? He <laughs> offered no resistance. He's like, yeah, sure, I guess. Only if I get the, the absolute say on the next GOI. What is fine, next fine. GOI? Okay, you know what? That's fair. Fine, fine. Okay, uh, Ambrose goes into Jack. One second. Okay. Uh, next, next one is uh, I think Plague gets it. Uh, it yep. is Arcadia. Arcadia. Ooh, Actually, it's Anderson. Anderson. It's Anderson. Oh, Anderson. Anderson, Anderson didn't Anderson. alphabetically organize the. Oh, uh, I just, I, I did, I did, I just named them according to whatever the thing. Okay, fine. We can. You know what? Hold on. Okay, fine. We'll do Anderson first. All right, Anderson. All right. I haven't lot. Of, yes. I haven't read a lot of Anderson. It is a GOI. Okay, uh, apologies to Conwell. Continue. Yeah. Sorry, Conwell. It is a GOI dedicated to creating robotics and artificial intelligences. I'm just reading the overview right now. They're small and have remarkable espionage capabilities. That's crazy. So <laughs> That's crazy. Holy <laughs> whack. But on a different level, I think they're pretty cool. They make robots. It's sick. You know. I just I... confused them with Prometheus. And, no, and like, Prometheus doesn't exist anymore. That's the yeah. Thing. The whole thing is that Prometheus like well like went bankrupt or whatever, and then Anderson like bought all their shit. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I confuse which one was which. I know one of them doesn't exist in universe anymore, and I, I always confuse the two. I okay. I do not like like how do I say this? I like Anderson Robotics a lot. I have like three Anderson articles. I they're one of my favorite GOIs, even though I never tell anyone that. Uh. Well, you just told the world now. I think they have a niche. I think they have the niche of, I, like, anomalous robotics, and I think that's pretty cool. Yes, I agree. I say, However, I you have to wonder... I like no, that DJ I, I, Pax yeah. article where, Ant, where Anderson burns his face off, and he puts, Dude, like, a Dude, that's such a good article. Yes, it's a great article. It's completely underrated. It's only, like, 88. I think I got you know an exploring what? series video, and it went off. Jamie, pull it up in chat. 
I think, I think honestly, if we're going with how much sex Anderson Robotics has, I'm either going to say it has reached second base or fucks. What? Just because, just because I, I can imagine, like, the nerdy, like, how those Anderson Robotics guys are probably, like, super nerdy, like, on the Yeah, outside. that's a good point, but actually. They're all, like, like, STEM majors. Could get, but get some get like could get some like major game like just go to like Jack's a bar they, they could just you know go to a bar and be like yeah i made robots and just instant like to the bed we go do you think so, do you think they use sex bots jack okay, that's a I, good question that's a good question and i'm gonna say i'm gonna say um i'm gonna say yes yes. no i'm gonna say they do it for practice <laughs> oh okay. All right, so that's oh why, no that's how oh, they're no. so good at it is that that's, they practice see, they practice with the see STEM majors aren't just for smarts people. They also okay. get you get you some good game. Go okay, in a STEM major. <laughs> okay, I guess okay, so so I, I think it should be I think it should be Fox, like generally. Yeah. I think I it should be Fox. Fox. I, yeah. I agree. I'll agree. I like how I like how I said that it was gonna be totally me and no one listened, but that's cool. Fox is cool. Well, we ended up agreeing with you, so why are That's you complaining? Right. That's right. You know, I can't even say anything. Okay. Next one. Oh, God. Oh, it's Arcadia. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Not Arcadia. Okay. Uh, do I don't like to say we... Do you like... want me to take okay. Arcadia? Do you want me to take Okay, you Arcadia? can take Arcadia, and I'll take the next one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Arcadia is essentially Atari. Do you know Atari, Jack? I wrote an Arcadia article. I know what Arcadia is. <laughs> Do you know? No, that wasn't the question. Do you know what our? Uh, do you know what Atari is? The company. I know what Atari is. They make the little beat bop game shit thing. You can't unmute yourself. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I muted Did her. Did you just fucking jack the podcast, Huey? I muted her again. It's fine. We're safe. Get out of here. But. Yes, you do that, is right. Atari I'm power. A legally power distinct. Yes, Atari. Arca- a legally distinct from Atari, Arcadia by which we is- just filed the serial numbers off and like put our own names on it. Yes, Atari, uh, Arcadia, Atari, same thing. It is a video game company in the 70s and 80s, and they did a lot of drugs and they they had some occult ties, and all their products are fucked up. And they're gonna summon a demon out of your NES. And the demon's gonna come out of your NES and gouge okay. your eyeballs out. So you know what? Say- okay, oh. coincidentally, Arcadia, like in-universe, Atari Arcadia was made by a disgraced Atari employee, and in-universe, Arcadia was made by a disgraced <laughs> oh SAP admin. That's so true. I'm just saying that there's a parallel there. It's so, like poetry, it rhymes. Yeah, it's it's like poetry. One, I have to think about this one versus my, my love-hate relationship with Arcadia and, and, you know, Fucking, I gotta, I gotta yeah. differentiate those. So you're, I, you're doing drugs 24/7. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But first, let me get my my grudges with Arcadia out of the way. I think like initially, like the initial premise for Arcadia was super cool. I was I was super hooked on the initial, like the very initial premise, like when the first like three articles, like really came out with like when Arcadia was really trying to be something. I thought they were pretty cool. We're half an hour in and we're only four GOIs through. We're gonna be here forever. <laughs> and then and then they did this whole like arc with just Nolan Bushnell and then what was the other guy? What was the other guy that they were like? Uh, George oh, yeah, W. Bush. No, they're... George W. Bush. <laughs> They're yeah. based on real Atari employees, right? right? They right. use real people for this. Right, but like at the same time though, it, it got so boring so fast and the same premise- Okay, wait, hold on. There's a very easy way to settle this. Can someone Google what the Atari CEO was and whether they have children? Let me, let me, I'll, I'll, I'll find it out for you. Anyway, okay, Nolan Bushnell. Figure out whether Nolan Bushnell has any surviving children. So. In terms of if they fuck, yes, they fuck. Like, they're mixed with, like, demons. Like, they do the hardcore drugs, like, all the time. That's pretty oh, wow. Best. Nolan yeah. Bushnell well, has... That, I, I'm sure... He, he does, in fact, have children, yes. He does? Okay, it's then that puts him in fuck. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll ro- 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 relax, yeah. buddy. Six so, children? Yeah. Wow. Why does the number keep going up? It's... it's Wikipedia is saying six. Well, it's actually, he had... Five. No, he had eight. He had Wait, eight. Why does Let me read this. Let me read this. He married his first wife, Paula Rochelle Nielsen, in 1967 and had two daughters. So he okay. had two daughters with her. And then they divorced. 
And then in 77, he married Nancy Nino, with whom he had That's six. That's not a real name. That's not a real <laughs> person's name. That's Plague's grandma. That is he had not no. children I'm with him. Sorry. Us. Oh, God. Plague could be distantly related to, to just Nolan because, Bushnell. Just because Nolan Bushnell has eight children, um, I'm going to say he definitely is fucked. Or Sigma yeah, 9. I, okay, yeah. I'm going to put that in Sigma 9 male. He's been often referred to as a lapsed Mormon, by the way. What is Mormon? Yeah, they have, they have a lot of sex. Or the sex ever. Thanks just for telling us, Blake. Sex ever. I'm just assuming. Can we get Calibri on the call? God. Question for... Calibri, Calibri, <laughs> can you come in and... Okay, uh, next one. Uh, we're running out of time. We're not running out of time, but I need this to hurry up. Uh, next you are. <laughs> Dang, I don't bring him. Uh, this one is, are we cool yet? This is an SCP institution. Uh, you can't go wrong with are we cool yet. This is actually, yeah. Yeah. this is also are one of my favorite two cool. eyes. I don't think I even need to make a blurb for this, which is no. good because the blurb on the GOI page is like three sentences long and pretty dog shit all in all. It doesn't even right. reference Cool War. Right. But you know, everyone knows what I, like, okay, wait, how do you, how do you guys pronounce the acronym? Oh, what do uh, I've never pronounced I say the acronym. Alki. I say Alki. It's I, Alki. Always, I always just say it but all the I way like just, a, a giga chat. the acronym. I just say, are we cool yet? I, I say the acronym because I don't want to say the whole sentence, but everybody knows what Aki is. They're the, are, they're are, the art GOI. They do art installations. They kill initialism. people. Shut Aki up. Cool, yeah, uh, definitely uh, Sigma 9, by the way. I just want to get that out of the way. What? Are we cool yet? Yeah, it's definitely Sigma 9 male. Like, yeah, you're I agree with you. Actually, I, they, I feel like they're either Sigma 9 or Incel. I can't decide. Right. I think Sigma 9, the logo is pretty cool. Because I, I, know like, fact, I know for a fact that Are We Cool Yet does hardcore drugs. Like, a ton of them do just hardcore drugs. They got demons. I think this one's got a pretty tables. clearly where it is. Um, they have, like, they have some Sigma rad nine. shit. Like, definitely Sigma 9 male. Like, they definitely get lots of, lots of, you know, You know, artists times. do tend to be freaky like that. So yeah, I, That's, I, that's yeah. my logic. Yeah, I, feel like I, I like agree the, with that. They're like the school band. Like they might not get a lot from like other people, but like among they themselves, it entirely in and of it's themselves. just like a, it's like a fucking orgy. <laughs> like the- they keep it. They, they keep it in the. They keep it all in house. Exactly in house productions, if you will. Oh no! But yes, I, I totally agree. Sigma Nobody nine. understands that. Yeah, Sigma Nine. Can we just move on? This one, this one's, this one's done. Yeah, that one's done. Okay, Black Queen. Uh, this one's Plague. <sighs> oh, I have no goddamn clue. Isn't, there, the isn't, isn't the new like red, Isn't the new Ambrose gone about Black Queen? Apparently. Yeah. No, Tanhoney just wrote something. Well, you um, can go um, go read the blurb. The Black it's like, Queen. It's paragraphs I'm, long. Jesus Christ. It's some like God thing that knows about the foundation but the, like the foundation does not know about it yeah i'm just looking I'm, through this right now i'm if they really so it's like some god it's like a scarlet king type deal but this one's like directly opposed to the foundation and it's associated with the wonders library and, and the serpent's hand Okay, I'm gonna explain what the Black Queen is because I actually have more experience with Black Queen than I think anyone besides Kirby and Nico in the last two years. Uh, it's basically like the whole premise is that it's Gear's daughter or whatever, who's like has mad daddy issues because her dad was like always at working at the foundation or whatever. And now she's like, I don't even understand what her goal is. Like, there's no clear goal designed for it. Like, she just seems to cause chaos on purpose for no reason. She has daddy issues. It's like Volcel or whatever it's called. Just because, I, just because I think there's a kink with the uh, just chaos wherever she goes. Do you think she's a girl boss? I, I, I think I think so. I either a girl boss or 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 uh, what's the other? Fuck, there's three of them. Girl boss, gatekeep. Fuck. Gaslight. Like, girl boss. Only one of those is a title that applies to a person. Right, right. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to see if any of any others like fit. But no, definitely girl boss energy. So I'm gonna say Volcel. I don't think. I don't think Allison gets a lot of game, um, but because of that that side of her, you know, I, I think that that really provides an insight into like into you know when it does happen, like once in a blue moon, you know. Once in a we're blue getting confirmation from a uh, Pentagon that uh, Calibri does indeed fuck. Thank you. Calibri does in fact fucked. 
Wow. Yeah. Good um, job. So what were we saying about the Black Queen? <laughs> I'm going to say Cell. I, that's what I'm going with. Volcel? I oh, think oh, it's slightly oh, above Jack level. Rounder is pinging everyone. Do not continue the discussion. Do not continue this discussion because Rounder has uh, left the chat. Is I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> oh, never mind. He's back. Okay. <laughs> great, great job. I'm not sure why it crashed all of a sudden, but we'll fix that one second. Uh, so, did we? So where, where did we decide Black Queen was? Uh, I mean, I think she's a girl boss, so I think she fucks. I think both so. Okay. I think that it's going to be like this weird Loki situation where they build up a weird love interest between like one Loki and another Loki. That struck me as very odd, but it seems like the kind of thing Black Queen writers would do. Y'all freaks. Yeah. And, you know, girl boss chaos, you know, masochist level or, or sadist. I think Allison has the potential. The opposite things. I think she has potential for both. So I'm going to say incel. Okay, one second. <laughs> So are there multiple black queens? The way you're describing it. Like, is it like nobody? Is it like a nobody situation? There's multiple nobodies. I don't know. I'm not familiar with it at all. I did round it. No, I'm right here. It's literally the opposite. Like with what's it called? With with uh with nobody, it's there's one nobody, but he's like a universal constant. Right, and Black yeah. Queen, it's like she's talking to versions of herself from like the other universe or whatever. It's like a really weird Spider Verse. Yes, shitty Spider Verse is a good ad. Anyway, we're gonna put Balsam. Yes. But we don't care what Dune thinks. So nobody cares what Dune thinks. That's usually how it goes. Okay, this is a fun <laughs> one. This is a fun one. Uh, who wants to get? I'll. Okay, I did the last one. Dune, you can do this. Uh, chaos insurgency look all i know about the chaos insurgency is that the name is stupid as fuck and not even dj cactus himself can salvage that this group of interest is a relic of fucking 2010 uh because they're from what i understand they're supposed to be a direct antagonist to the foundation uh they want to free anomalies they, they they used to be a part of the foundation but they broke away but they cause chaos. It's just the name's stupid. Their gimmick they're is very cells. like, yeah, they're yeah. incels. They're definitely they're incels. Yeah. Like, they're... I think this one's this one's pretty inarguable. They're incels. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're in they're incels. incels. Is that just a dead discussion now? Like, are we moving yeah. on? We don't yeah, yeah. Need to just elaborate. It's like it's like it's like, uh, it's like known. It's known. Yeah, there's no way they're anything other be. They're not. They're... See, even Chad mm-hmm. agrees with us. Chad hates us. Yeah. Um, so what's next? Is it my turn to go? Chicago Spirit. No, hell you. Fuck you. This is my turn. Okay. I love the Chicago Spirit. Chicago Spirit, uh, you know, I think all of you know by now what the Chicago Spirit is, but for our listeners who don't, because they suck. Uh, it's like, uh, anomalous mafia, or like a mob, like in the Prohibition era, they like, they like run anomalous booze or whatever, and they, they do crimes. They be anomalous, commit crimes. And... Of course, what's it called? Uh, it's owned by Richard Chappelle, which, as we all know, Fox. Like, this is just known. It's established. Like, his nickname is Big Dick. You can't Big Richard Big Dick Chappelle. So, I, in my opinion, I think we should put Chicago Spirit at Sigma 9 male. Yes, they are good. I, I think, think we're all in agreement here that it's actually in, so. Yeah, think... I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to side with Plague. I, 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 Why? Honestly, I, don't get, I don't get fucked here's, by. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Yeah. I think the Chicago Spirit is hiding, uh, it's trying to mask over their falling masculinity. Like, Chappelle, <laughs> I think Chappelle's trying to project his masculinity and it's failing. That's why they call him Big Dick Chappelle. So I'm not going to say exactly. I'm going to need specifically after this, I'm going to have us <laughs> read, the, read the wise words of wisdom from Richard Chappelle article, which is my only funny article that I've ever put onto the site. And I'm going to have Jack read all of them. Okay. I think I want to say incel because I, 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 I want to say that maybe like, maybe someone from the Chicago spirit got like game one time, like went to the back and was like, ooh wee, this is a good time. Like, that puts you immediately at second, that has reached second base. No. No, no I, I think, I think it'd be Jack. I think it'd be Jack, honestly. <laughs> I'm willing to concede with Jack. Yeah, I will concede Jack. <laughs> Jack. 
Okay, next. Uh, you know, I really, we really just wanted to put Chicago spirit into incel because we wanted yeah, to fuck the rounder. I could tell. I could tell. I just got a message. Rounder, I messaged both of them saying, when we get to Chicago spirit, say it's an incel. Yeah, I, yeah, I knew. That was way too plain for it not to be you both fucking with me. Anyway. Uh, we, we, do a little, we do a little mischievous A little acting. trolling. A little, a little trolling. trolling. Okay, uh, next well, one is Church, Church of the, of the Broken God. God. Now it's for Church play. Of the Broken God. It's a pretty classic GOI, enemy of those meat guys. They believe in a big god made of metal. They really like that. They believe they augment themselves. They have, there's like a headcanon where their leader becomes a god of some sort. Pretty, pretty solid overall. I think they're cool. Classic I think, GOI. I, I think it doesn't need physical. What was, yeah, what was the, that seems reasonable. Has no physical need for sex. Yeah. yeah. What the f are you doing? They've enhanced. Sorry. They've enhanced past that point. They're uh, optimizing however, themselves. Yes. They've, they've optimized, optimized themselves for sexual. Could you, could you imagine a um, uh, like an, um, an an enhanced dick? Like, could you imagine just? Like... No, I'm not going to. Imagine no, I don't want to imagine an enhanced. <laughs> no, that's enough. No, what the hell is wrong with you? It's no, gonna I be all imagine it. Have like... ridges and gears, and it's gonna like oh, you're gonna no. have to oil it up. It would be like it would be like a, a steam more pump, time. you know. It'd be like a like a, a steam a steam engine, like <laughs> rounders old <laughs> steam engine. <laughs> <laughs> you have rounders you just, old, uh, off the page. <laughs> you just hear like you just hear like hold on, baby, talk dirty to me, and then like a train whistle. <laughs> chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> <That's> awful. <laughs> Smoke starts coming like, out of it. What if, like, like stand as you're going? Like, would it just, like... <laughs> so she, she says faster, and they put more coal into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> However, I, uh, as it stands, the Broken God are currently in have no physical need for sex, but once I post Omni Rom, I'm going to push them all the way to has reached second base. That's yeah. I think that that's where I was right. getting the adult tag. I swear to God, fucking crab robot. Can't wait for crab, crab robot. robot. Yes, crab robot is gonna be great. Uh, next, what's next? Church, Church of the second, second high high in. <laughs> Search. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's incel. I'm just gonna note that automatically. Yeah, no one. So. I yeah. Say that no one likes this. No one knows. Whenever someone talks things. about, whenever someone yeah. talks about not knowing what all the GOIs on the list are, they always cite the example of you could remove the cert, the Church of the Second High Toth from this list, and absolutely nothing would change because I think it's a cool idea. Like, well, you can't fuck aliens. Like that's that's against biology. Like I I couldn't go up and be like, hey, Church of the Second yeah, High Toth. That. It's literally alien, it's a but... it's a pet GUI made by one person, and it was like you know how people joke about like sarcasm and like broken god lore being impenetrable. Search of the second high tide lore is like a brick. You can't even do anything with it. You just have to sit there and stare at the brick until it like <laughs> begins to seem interesting to you. Yeah, it's kind of like with Davy Fool and um, the Three Moons, but extre you don't know what to write for it. I like Three Moons. I like Three Moons. No, no, no. I'm saying like Three Moons is the good version of that. Like Davey <laughs> yes. Fool kind of runs the whole thing, but like if you yeah. want to write something for it, go ahead. I, uh, I think you have to be a very specific type of person to write. High someone topics. is someone is in the chat paying me to talk about how I'm wrong, which is 100% what I want for all of these GOI decisions. I want to be insulted in chat over them. Oh, I agree. I do think that. Okay, let me. Let me just a pretty solid idea. I want. I want to. Mm -hmm. So I want you to insult Jack over them. Please ping okay. him instead. Hang on, no, that, okay. I legit anyway, don't even friends, all right. Okay. I've said this, uh, I've said this about Sarkix before. Um, Sarkix, Sarkism, like, in general, is, like, going to, like, high school and walking past, like, a Spanish 4 class and not having any idea what's going on, like, any clue what they're saying. But that, that was every class in really high school pretty. for you. No, okay, I did have some issues with 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 basic geometry, but let's just let's just go past Project that. Well, I can I specify is... basic geometry so we know it's not like trigonometry? It's like what is a circle? <laughs> Please point to the square. I did have issues with knowing what a square was for a while. What? I hated it when they had to make me prove that a triangle was a triangle. Oh, stupid! It's, look, there's three sides. Just that's right. Okay. Uh, next one. What's on the list? Uh, Dear I think College. it's Deer College. Okay, Deer College. I'm comfortable saying Deer College has reached second base. 
Yeah, I yeah. agree. I, okay. I think we're all in agreement there. I can they're say college students. Base. They're fucking college students. They're chill. One article I've always wanted to do with Kirby and Storm Breath, but I've never found the time, is like a course listing for Deer College. And you can imagine all the kind of wacky courses they have, right? And it would be like yeah. a collaborative log. So anybody could add their like weird course with their weird teacher and like the weird like course description or whatever. That's a fun idea. I, I and it's in it's in three Portlands, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's a bunch of anomalies there. They're definitely fucking over it's there. It's a fun. It's a fun concept. Deer College is definitely more penetrable of between the two universities that we've. I talked think you about. mean penetrative. Can we oh. Try- oh. oh wait, hang on. No one needs. Yeah, it fucks. Or, or what was the uh... second base? Second base. Second base. Was... Uh, yeah. I'm okay. glad you're with us, Jack. Yes. I just love. I'm staring at this chat, and I just love. Yeah. <laughs> I just love staring at the disconnect and us agreeing, and then looking over and just seeing all the people in the chat just screaming how we're wrong. This all is right, next, we're, we're okay. not exactly doing a great job. Okay, go. Uh, Doctor Wondertainment, Anomalous Toy Company, classic Desperate. GOI. Classic. Everyone Desperate. Knows. Classic. No, no, wait, I don't no, think no, 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 Valsel, Valsel, I think it's Valsel. I think, ha- okay, Valsel, I think... because I think he made you, they make you toys, you can use your own toys, like, you don't need oh, anyone. Yeah, Jack, Jack, yeah, that... Wondertainment is pure. Wondertainment is pure of heart. Well, I, like I mean, and, uh, I mean, having a fun time is pure, too, like, there's no, is like, it... as long as you're having fun and not bothering anyone, like, it's it's pure in your heart. I think they it's... have no physical need for sex, I think. Yeah. Like, the Little Misters are created, like... <laughs> do you think Little Misters are, like, do, you, do you think Little Misters are, like, smooth down there, like a Ken doll? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think they, I think they have the genitals, like, shaved off. They're filed off. It's just, I like, think if it looks out to perfectly look smooth. They're kept to a point. Like... They're, like, smooth up to a point, and then it's, like... And, and then, then what? And then it's like, you know, World War II. What does II. smooth up to a point mean? <laughs> what, what point is... Uh... <laughs> so so you said it's all smooth and then it ends in a point? Yeah, it's like a spike. It's like, stay it's away like from me. a spear? Me. Oh no. Oh wait, we have to remember <laughs> it's that a there are multiple Wondertainment children. So obviously they've had... Moving on! Set. <laughs> Totally safe for work. Who's gonna put them way. in? Has no physical need for sex and call it a day. <laughs> I agree. honestly, it's partially because I just don't really like Wondertainment. Like, I don't. Oh. I don't like Wondertainment. Well, I think you suck. Which one of these is the Wondertainment icon? Wonder oh, it's the W. Okay. Yeah. The Wondertainment icon is. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I got okay. it. I can uh, What's the next one? Factories. The factory. Factory. I think the factory. Is. Has no physical need. Yeah, that's yeah, that seems fair because they're always like torturing people. Like, because okay, see, ca- factory is all like capitalism, but, right? And sex is yeah. not yeah. capitalism. Any moment, it's... any moment you spend having sex is moments you could be working on the assembly line. What but if the factory just... found a way to make money off of sex, which I mean, uh, our good friend uh, Doctor Bright has written a couple articles concerning oh, the factory. Oh no! Oh, stop! 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 <laughs> Stop. I, I we're not going down that path. We're, we're, we're not going, going there. Okay, wait, wait, we're talking. I'm looking at the yeah, chat. Please. It seems to be a consensus is. Oh, wait, Kirby thinks that the factory is Sigma. If the factory found a way to make money off of sexual related things, then you would consider them to be at wow. least like bucks, I think. If they, if they found a way to, to monopolize off TikTok, I would definitely... I would say... As, why as, are you as, talking as, about Why would you want to see the factory on TikTok? TikTok? TikTok is awful. TikTok is just filled with just... Ew. Anyway... What? Anyone who has sex Whatever, does not need to exploit their workers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think go back to the whole Yasi. I think factory is at a point where they're I'm like going back. really it's desperate. Second they second want to be edgy. Base. No, I think it's reached second base. I think they're just a bunch of sadists. I think it's also reached second base. I agree. I'm gonna put it there. Fuck you, Plague. Yeah, I agree. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, fuck you! No. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> Alright, next up is the fifth church. Whoever wants to take that one? Oh, I don't uh, Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, it's the starfish people. Yes. Starfish people. There's two different sects. Uh huh. Sex. Sex. 
Uh, there we go. You're not funny. Uh, You're not funny. I don't know why I decided to have you here. You're not funny. Incels. I think the fifth. I think fifthism is just incels in general. No, I don't. I don't. I think they're cool. I, I think, think fifthism. I think fifth, okay. Cult. In my, I've cult, only yeah. written one fifthist article, but a person does have sex in that one, so I would put it at Jack at the minimum. Okay, Jack is fair. Yeah, fifthism's thing is like it's all like nonsensical and it it has like its own internal logic. So I I'd honestly put them at like desperate because like it might happen. It might like they're more they're not focused on the sexual aspects of life. Yeah, okay, I buy that. Steph, wait, Steph asked a very good question. <laughs> Steph asked, starfish have sex or do they lay eggs or something? Would I think you that's think something we should need to have sex to lay eggs. It's not like don't, asexual reproduction. No, I feel like this is a good question. with their arms. Maybe they like bud. Do starfish like, when they get like, when they have the, the fun time, do they like, do their fun arms? Time. <laughs> fun do time. They, do their arms start like inflating? Like, do they just like become inflation? Do they? Did you just want to have an excuse to bring up inflation, Jack? I really want to know. I've I've never seen a starfish fuck. I just we I can fix that for I, you, I, Jamie. Pull it up. When you chop off a starfish's arm, like it'll regrow back, but the new arm will also grow too. Like that's I think like that's awesome. worms. I don't think that's starfish. Hi, technical support here. Uh, sea stars. Uh, reproduce by mating with one another. Oh, see, I was right. Oh. Okay, see? How do they yeah. find each other? They're so they penetrate. Back to the pit I go. Okay, thank you, Yasi. Thank you, Jamie. Then, since they starfish release sperm into the ocean, do you not drink? No, that's a sea cucumber. Uh, oh. In a sense, yeah, we all release sperm into the ocean. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Like, uh, die. Nothing? <laughs> what is it? Okay. Anyway. Okay, whatever. So we're, just, what we're, we're gonna, gonna acknowledge that. So we we agreed on uh, Jack. Is that what we said for fifthism? Yes, I believe. No, we put it desperate. Did we? Okay, that's fair. I think that's fair. Is fair. Or whatever. Okay. Okay. okay, this next one is fun. Who's doing this? Rituals. What's this one? Oh, oh. Oh, I haven't done one in a while. Uh, I'll yeah. do Gamers Against... Okay, yeah, Gamers Against the Weed. I think that Gamers Against the Weed is a pretty solid analog to like the actual SCP community, which means they're all incels. Uh, none of them have sex. None of them even go outside. They don't even speak to other people. They're just nothing. They're like sitting on the room on their like computer or whatever. They're too I'm online. Fucking. Yes, what, the two what online. Being, what being too online does to a motherfucker persona. I know a few. I, of those th people. I think at one point a girl or a dude or whatever looked at one of the people on and was like, "I feel bad for you," and then just gave it to him. You know, so maybe a pity fuck. Okay, maybe, so. Yeah, a pity fuck. Yeah. So I'm gonna say Jack. Yeah, just, just, <laughs> so is this a confirmation that you have been pity fucked? I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna agree or deny that claim. What he said it was basically a signed confession. Do you even have to ask? Yeah. I just wanted to clear it up. I wanted to yeah, make sure. No, I, 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 I caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. I'm being pinned into between a rock and a hard place because Jack is like the second lowest. But really, Jack should be like above Sigma Nine male. But I can't. You can't get what you wish for. Okay, all the time. okay. You know what? I'll listen to Blizzard because nobody acknowledges it. I think they're all in a polycule and sat in like internally, like Gamers Against Wizards has a polycule. But also, I believe that they again that doesn't change the fact that they're still all way too online, which means they don't actually have the sex. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just saying that's fine. I'm just saying online. that they do not fuck. Each other. I don't think they fuck outside. DMs. I don't think they're incels. I I do think they're between desperate or Jack. I think it's Jack. I think it's Jack. Yeah. I think they're Jack level too. Because you know they're all up in each other's DMs secretly. Yeah. They're just... open secret. I would count know. I would say no, Lizard. I would say no, we were not counting that. Also, we're gonna have to burst this channel after. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of shit. Next is uh what is it? The gawk. Uh, the gawk. The gawk. Okay, well, this is there's like five tales about the GOC guys fucking, isn't there? Yeah, it's yeah. also written by Clef primarily, so like, you know they fuck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, gawk. Okay, I, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, know Chad, I know Chad is going to get at me for this, and I know I don't like Clef's horny shit as much as the next guy, but, you know, it, it's kind of inarguable. I say fucks. I'm not going to say Sigma 9, because I don't think the GOC is interesting enough for that. But definitely fucks. Yeah, I think they, yeah, they fuck. I think the GOC also fucks. Yeah. Side, a little side note, but those those clef written GOC tales are according really to, good. 
yeah, they're really good. Good stuff. Like Clef's a good tail writer. Yeah, Clef's a good tail writer, but his SCPs are such dog shit, dude. He's he's got something going on with his words. <laughs> Hog size is a volsal. He never he hasn't lost his virginity because he never loses. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm gonna convert plague. Do you want to make a canon that Hog Slice is still a virgin, but oh, voluntarily, yeah, he is. he's Volunteer, voluntarily yeah. telling you. Motherfucker, you were making me Definitely. break my shit. Motherfucker, you are making me break my celibacy. He doesn't want to have sex. He, he doesn't just want. He doesn't want to. All right, so the cock. This cool biker gang. The cock. Okay. The cock. They fuck. The cock. The cock. Yes. Uh, next. Yes. Okay. Uh, next is Gru Division P. Uh, these are the these are the Soviet like, these are like the what's the agency called? It's uh, it's the K KGB. The KGB. Yeah. yeah the KGB. It's, these it's are like the KGB's KGB. anomaly. Yeah. These are like it's like Pentagram, but for like the KGB. And they're also shut down in universe. They they folded shut after down. the collapse of the Soviet. Yeah. So I don't think they do much of anything anymore. Yeah. I don't think it's so at that point. If you've been shut down, think, like they're very good articles though. Don't you they stop that, fucking. Um, yeah, they Although, have that, if that's the case. There's some pretty good articles with them. I do think that they, they fuck sometimes. Maybe well, back in like the 60s. They were dead. Yeah, so definitely. Like, desperate. Everybody was fucking in the 60s. It doesn't count. I'm gonna yeah. say desperate. And no, okay, yeah, I, would or, like, I would say desperate. The fact that they're destroyed make them like involuntarily yeah. celebrate because no one wants to Also, I want to note that like, like, I would say like a year ago, I think. The picture for the like group P changed on the GOI page, and it, this one is not good. I don't know what's going on with this new one. It looks stupid. There's like yeah, you can no. literally see the square cutting over the edges of the tri like the rhombus in parts. Oh, it's very yeah, poorly you, done. You actually can. It's all fucked up. I'm looking at yeah, it now. Shitty, shitty graphic. Graphic design is my passion. Oh, yeah, it's like slanted at one Wait, am I Yui? I need you to confirm. Am I insane, or did Valinx write a lot of like group P stuff? He did. Okay, yeah. Uh, I remember Valinx, this dude. He's banned now. I think he went on RPC for like a small is amount of time. Of awfully like UP, and you know what that means. Anyway, Valinx was like, I, I always thought it weird that like a lot of the groupie articles were like written in like vibe they had. And then I found out they were written by Valinx, who was like a Putin bootlicker. Like he's all up in that like, <laughs> oh hell yeah, Russia's the best country shit. And you know, it's, everything about it makes us like suddenly everything makes a lot more sense. <laughs> anyway. We're that's We're desperate. 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 Okay, next. Herman Fuller, incel. Okay, incel. Incel. Wait, okay. Can I make no, a new category discussion. for this clown? Yeah, clown. Clussy. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna establish right now, here and now on this podcast, that if you've ever written a clown article, you're, you're, a, you're a clown yourself. You're no longer yeah. human. You're subhuman if you write clowns. Yeah, if you write clown articles, articles you do not clowns. deserve. You you don't get right, human rights. You get clown rights. And you might you might think you're gonna get some clussy from this, but you're not. Just you're not stop gonna writing, get clown stop writing clown articles. Clowns. Clowns were never funny, and every time you write an article, they somehow get even less funny. Like I don't understand how that's possible. It's like it zero looping in on itself. Keep like, your fetish work off the wiki, please. Please yeah, it's not writing clown write articles. It's not funny. Article, I see. I'm about to go hoot hoot on someone, like for real. Like no more clown articles. I'm You're so about to go what on someone? You're about to like go an owl. What? Yes, I'm about to go how. I'm about to go owl bitch crazy. If another fucking clown article. Hoot hoot. <laughs> said hoot hoot owl bitch crazy. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't, is this something they say in like fucking Alabama or wherever no, you're from? I'm I, what the fuck do the clowns do when they squeeze their nose and they make a little toot toot sound? Honk honk? That would be much better. <laughs> that was what I was trying you to do. I forgot what honks were. <laughs> what did you think? I'm a owl bitch on an ass. If I'm about to go hoot hoot owl bitch crazy. Look, no more, no more fucking clown articles. That's it. I don't want to hear about clown milk. I don't want to hear about clown nips. I don't want to hear about any of that shit anymore. Clown nips. I have one good article. And it's the one written by metaphysician. That's it. Yeah, Done. metaphysician. Metaphysician's clown article is actually pretty good. Yeah, but it also okay. it's like it came out before all of the dumb bullshit, so it's fine. It was good, it was nice fridge horror about like, oh my god, you have to milk a clown? What the fuck does that mean? But then it was taken <laughs> way too far. Some people this really exactly like the idea of milking a clown. And they've yeah, been, oh, like, to a suspicious degree. It makes me clown. it makes me question their certain like 
aspects of their uh, personality. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, you can imagine the Homelander scene where he has like the the frozen like milk in the fridge, and then he eats it up with a laser it's eye, and then, yeah, he puts it a little little little. Would you care to elaborate on what you just did? Yeah, or, or you roll my tongue. Like you never Amazon seen the thing. You can. I know you can do this too. I know everyone can do this. Uh, we need to go around and do the tongue thing. Oh. Dude's not putting the effort in. I can tell he's just making the noise without actually doing it. That's better. I think I think Herman Fuller is definitely incel, and that's yes. Herman Fuller is inarguably an incel. Herman fucker. Ha ha. Urban okay, what comes after data. this? Uh, Horizon Initiative. This is the GOI that's like written by someone who doesn't understand what religion is. And <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, I agree with you that these are volatile because it's supposed to be like a, a coalition of like three Abrahamic religions where it's like a third of them are Jewish and like a third of them are Muslim and a third of them are like Christian, but they all like work together somehow, which I like. That would mm, never happen. Happening. You know what? My suspension of disbelief has been ruined. Yes. Yeah, Actually, I like on so, like I know, like on some level, like there's supposed to be like internal strife within the organization, and that's like a core part of the one tale series that they have. Uh, but I don't think that it would be a thing. I don't think it no, would be a not thing. At all. I, I would say they're Volsa. Wait, no. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking Volsa, like my gut. Also, but but yeah. After I mentioned that they only have one tail series, I remember that that tail series is Marianne and Sala, and in that series they canonically have a child, which raises a, a fucks like an argument for fucks. I, I, I think, think we should go also, in the middle. Didn't even I give me that from Wonder Team. I where think there's we should. Multiple should... Wonder Team and children. Say so Marianne and Sala do at some point fuck. Yeah, but like the majority of members of the Horizon, like the Volcel until marriage. Yes, Volcel until marriage. I think it has okay. I can I can go with that. So uh, next. Right, well, oh god, it's been an hour. Oh my. Okay, we'll we'll just this will be this is like the uh, pilot episode. So it'll be uh, extra this, long. This will be yeah. on it. editing. Okay. Uh oh god, the next one is I Jimmy. I I oh, I I Jamia. I, I, I Jamia. I've always said I Jamia, but that's I've never actually said it out loud. I, I always thought I'm it was editing Kirby. Okay, I Jimmy. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's just leave that off. We we can skip that one. <laughs> Actually, we're skipping I Jimmy. What's <laughs> we're, we're, we're skipping I Jimmy. We're gonna come back to that one later. Okay. Okay. Next one is Man of Charitable Foundation. Hmm. They're, they're a. Uh, I'll take them. They're okay. I want to take. Run them. by volunteers, right? Is that the thing they run by volunteers? Okay, so yeah. we have to assume that. A lot of them have had sex because they're they're just people. They're normal people. I can, they're normal yeah, people. I can buy that. They have sex. I think I think they fuck. Their goal is that they use anomalies to benefit uh, uh like that, less fortunate that's people. That's pretty based. Right? Yeah. That's man we're it's, talking man I, I wouldn't say they have no physical need because it's like a whole group of people. So like collectively they don't really need That's not true. You can totally Jack, have that with a whole collective Jack, group of people. I think you fundamentally understand what the have no physical need category is for. Grebo said it. Grebo yeah. said it right. The romantic fuckers. Yes, I the agree. romantic fuckers. <laughs> okay, I'll go with whatever you guys say. Yeah, no, I agree. I think they fuck. Okay, yeah, I can say. Okay, I yeah, can I agree. Uh, after that, I'll take them. It's actually Marshall this is Carter, weird. I have, a, I have a suspicious tidbit about this. There's a Man of Charitable Foundation theme. Uh, some of us know, but it was ported from the Spanish wiki, and the weird thing is, it has like. Okay, you know how, like, themes, you have to, like, manually code and stuff to, like, alter page elements for Sigma 9. So you have to, you have, like, lines of code that are, like, alter how the search bar looks, or, like, the header, or, like, block quotes, or, like, whatever. The Man and Charitable theme has, like, an, like a solid third of it is dedicated to code altering the appearance of, like, the, the discussion pages. With, like, by, which, by definition, it can never be on the discussion pages. <laughs> but like a third of it, like it, it has code to make the discussion pages all man and a theme. I don't understand why. That's so weird. Yes. Anyway, moving on. Definitely a Chad move. I'll take the next one. It's Marshall Carter and Dark. And oh, this one's they, fun. Are, they are a 
private, high-class organization where they buy up anomalies and sell them to the highest bidder. And this is this is, this is, is Sigma Nine. This is no argument. This is Sigma Nine. I, I wrote know. that tale about their author Avatar having a child with um one of them. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Why did you remind with Iris Stark? Yeah. Yeah, Iris Stark. Yeah, I'm no, playing I think Sigma Nine. Dude, these I are remember. Rich, these are rich, I remember. Rich. I need to tell. Yeah, I need to. I need to tell that story in full detail. Like that guy, he was like, he'd been posting like weird tales about like Iris Dark and his OC. Rudius like, knocked. Yes, Rudius knocked. knocked. His name was also his character's name, which automatically raises a ton of questions. But like whatever, uh, he'd been posting tales with those for like a couple of weeks, I think, two or three. But like nobody, nobody gave a shit because nobody was reading them. And then he posted like the last one, which is the one everyone knows, where like. Uh, he hypnotizes or like drugs uh, Iris Dark or whatever into becoming his uh, his wifey, and uh, it's it's like insanely weird because they have like a son who she like breastfeeds. It's like it's there's like 50 different kinds of weirds in it. I don't even want to think about it. But he knocks up Iris Dark. He does. And she's like supposedly like a girl boss, right? She's a girl she's... boss, but she turns into a, a trad wife after he okay, knocks her up. Okay, I see. You see, I'm very familiar with the girl boss, the trad wife transition. So yeah, I just wanted right. to make sure. She was dunified. As I like, she was uh, dunified, as we said. <laughs> can you ask your girlfriend for commentary on that? Do you want to give commentary on that, Kling Monkey? Yeah, that happened to me. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the opposite of what, was that, been what I was expecting. You've been dunified. I've been dunified. Grounder, um, is uh, would make a need on and... here? Vikander up, Need is go... not uh, Vikander Need is not on the thing because it hasn't been added to the page, and I'm pretty sure uh -oh. Gregory would like be pissed at me if I added it to any of these categories. But, uh, but we, we can, uh, we can just, just verbally me. say where it is at the end. He just pinged me in the discussion chat saying he doesn't see it there, so maybe oh, no. he wants it. Oh, Gregory, are you in here? You can... I didn't see you. Oh, hi, Gregory. If you hi. can, if you can influence a girl boss in any way shape or form you instantly a sigma nine male that's just all i'm gonna say but that's not what happened that's, that's not, not canon jack that's not canon we know more oh, that's okay that's are, true they're that's like true. wall street top percentile rich motherfuckers so they're gonna be into weird shit but i'm gonna yeah. put them in the sigma nine yeah category. i'm expecting some like eyes wide shut stuff yeah like i'm ex like just like I mean, normal we just pleasures, I... normal but... pleasures do not entertain them anymore. They, yeah, want they, they, got, like, they got the money. I, mean, I just like, I have, the, a, uh, the two I have a similar article. relationship with Upvotes, but that's not, neither here nor there. I just put I, the T. Rutherford article about how they ate the boba because it was, made them feel good about eating it. So if that doesn't I'm give you some weird vibes. Sigma 9. That's what I'm going to say. I think, I think they got the money. I think they got the game. And they, you know, could potentially influence a girl boss. You know, it's... It happens. That's not what happened, Jack. I <laughs> know. I know. You're I highly was... misreading that situation, but that's okay. Yeah, that is not what occurred. Yeah. Okay, I'm anyway, what, what do we decide? Sigma 9 male? Yes, Sigma 9, yeah. Sigma 9. Okay, enough time has passed and we are not comfortable with coming back to IGMIA. 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 Do you want okay, to put him in Intel? Okay, well, I, I don't know how to approach this diplomatically because they're like the, the fucked up war crimes unit of like yeah. the Japanese army or whatever, right? They're and that literally... was actually a thing. And like, I don't know how to deal with that. Do I, I pretend? I think you second base. I think you gotta be, you gotta be a big Chad to start just say second crimes. base? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, this is my hot take. I think if you can start war crimes, you probably have some game. That's just... It's, I'm gonna get all my translations reality. pulled from the Japanese wiki after I publish this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Dagon just said, "Yeah, it's true." <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks, Dagon. I'm just gonna move it to to second base. Okay, we'll put him there comfortably and forget about it and never talk about it for the rest of the episode. Yeah, I okay, think that I'm didn't happen. Okay. Nobody. Now, next one is nobody, right? I think nobody. Nobody was incel. Like, no okay. physical yeah, need. No, incel. Are you kidding me? Need. There's no way nobody's an incel. Wait, just, no wait, physical wait, need. Just explain okay, what nobody okay. is. First. Explain what nobody is. Okay, I wrote the nobody articles for Rencon. That's so here. I think all I'm you. the authority here. Yes, yeah, all me. Uh, uh, no one else. I can already see Kirby typing. Um, <laughs> uh, he's like, we wrote nobody as like this, this concept, this like amalgamation of ideas that like 
has some unclear goal it wants to lure history towards so it like possesses random people and like obliterates their identities and then possesses their bodies and then just uses it for its own purposes and then once it's done it just kind of ditches them and fucks off to like the next dude it needs to possess and that's so, entirely why i think they're incel because nobody is way too focused on this, the goal and no one and everyone screamed at me yes they're incel like i'm agreeing i'm, I'm agreeing with what dagan said in the chat okay I think wait so the if we go fucks, but they don't fuck like they don't have any they don't they don't fuck they have no need they're just trying to they're just trying to like progress nobody yeah, is they have way no too physical focused need. on the next step of their plan to actually have time for sex unless it's part of their plan yes the right. end goal is to finally fuck so nobody <laughs> has not lost their collective virginity yet I definitely think incel. I'm just gonna go with incel. If nobody is incel, incel. Everybody is incel. I completely disagree. That's okay, what do you think? What do you like, think? Why? Like? I think they have no physical need for sex. I it's mean, they're still opinion. dudes. It's like it's possessing people, and those people right. still have like. Well, but but okay, but that thing, the thing that's possessing them, that is the essence of nobody. No. Yeah, I mean, but it's yeah, still, yeah. Like, there's there's still real humans at play. So like when nobody takes over, yeah, yeah. as soon as you get influenced by like nobody, then that that instantly goes away. Okay, all right, I, I'll concede to incel. I, I, think could, I suppose I suppose like I'm trying to think of whether in any of the articles I actually reference nobody having sex, and I can't think of any. So there's really no argument here. <laughs> Not that I can remember. <laughs> Yeah, but, I'm, but I I'm remember like incel. If nobody takes over like a new person. Like they still retain parts of their original yeah. personality. It's not like a, a a singular force just inhabiting a new body every time. Yeah, it's, they're, 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 I just realized wasn't in the uh, Men in the White Suit series. Wasn't there like a recurring theme about the like the great great grandfather? Yeah, being, it, like, yeah. Uh, at uh, one point, they had to have sex. Like they've had to have the good deed if they've. Had no, he bit her. He. Bit her in oh, the that's arm. True. Right, but the but like after several generations, she was still able to like call it out. Like she still existed at that in that moment. No, no, no. Because the whole thing was like she's the agent in like the seventies or whatever, and she meets that nobody, and then he bites her, and then like her her son is like meets the next nobody, and then her grandson meets yeah, the next okay, next sorry. nobody. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Yep, definitely incel. It's like a family story. Right. I will note that I find it immensely pleasing that the incel is like category is all red right now. So is second base. The red has so much emotion. Are you saying that the rounder house thing should be an incel? No, I'm saying it should be in second base. Or incel. What's the next one? Next one okay. is uh, Amazingly, the, the nobody image on the hub is actually just like, I thought it had a white background, but no, it's just like a black PNG, so we can't actually see it on the thing. But whatever, we'll, 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 we'll pretend it's, it's there. It's, 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 it goes along with it. It's like blending yeah, into Yeah, it's, it's yeah. It's thematically appropriate. Next one is Aurea and Rounder. Aurea. Like take Aurea. Aurea is such a not good GOI. It is like three levels of bad. It's like bad. Is this the like one Tufto writes for? No, Tufto hasn't actually written any articles for it, I think. He has like referenced it, but he's never written any like Aria focused articles, even though I've been trying to get him to. This is the one Escobar wrote, which is like infinitely worse oh you say uh, Aria? i was saying oreo i like I oreo mean, like oreo yeah okay we can go oreo i i say Aria. um yui just said um that there is an adult oreo tale written by them oh man please link it in the chat yeah link it no. okay so this one's gonna be hard because i don't like this goi at all I mean, nobody no, likes the GOI. Really it's like this bad caricature of like Middle Eastern religions, and it's just like flattened right. into like brown terrorists. They're Iranian, well, and they're like, and they're like, like what's it called? They want to have a hegemony over the Middle East, and it's just like bad because you know that the dude who read it was like not included like at all. Just like the whitest possible dude. Yeah. I don't know if they even though they fucked. I don't even want to acknowledge that they fucked. I kind of want to go Volcel too. I say okay, Volcel too. You have Volcel until marriage. No, it's also. since they're religious based. Right. Okay. We were pretty we were pretty even so far on all the categories. Yeah. yeah. Disproportionate. Okay. Uh, next on the list. Onaroy. Okay. Okay. Just think about just think about it here. Okay. An 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 Iroy is telling... like okay. First of all, I say Nairoy. Second of all, uh, it's like a dream thing, right? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, just so it's not real. Obviously, dreams. Yeah, that's what I. Grebo got it right in one. Oh, no, wet dreams. Wet dreams. Yeah, it fits. This, this GOI. I have wet dreams. Fuck you, damn it. 
Okay, Chuck. <laughs> Thank you. I would say it's reached second Actually, base. I would say there. I would argue that having like an IRA wet dreams would be has no physical need for sex. Okay, yeah. Because they I are doing it, just not physically. Right. Yeah, I would go. I I'm agree. I am agreeing. Yeah. Okay. So are we going with this? So wait, wait, physical wait. Need. Can you explain? Because my interpretation of an IRA is that they are entities within the dreams, right? Dude, I do not I understand what goes on with Nairo. It's like intentionally like poorly explained, but understand. also being intentionally poorly explained does not excuse the fact that it's really poorly explained. Yeah, being intentionally well, poorly well, explained. Are you forgetting who it was written by? I'm not going to acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay, so I always thought the Onorori were like, but were like mixed between physical and like dream state like my some... interpretation of it was always that like when people are dreaming they're like their minds go to like they're like con how do i explain this their their I mean... mind like uh, every dreaming person on earth contributes to the collective consciousness that is known right. as an iroi but i also think they have like physical they have like almost like religious like not cults but like religious spouts and that's how they like train like foundation personnel like mtfs like they have to have something physical in order to like properly train them so i think they were like physical what's the word i'm looking for there's like physical like nairo is just reddit when you're asleep and reddit is like 85 percent right. porn by mass so i think it should be has no physical need i think so too that's what i'm saying and we'll have a nice flat straight equal you just grade. want to balance it out Yes, but I so I am, am, am no because we have uh, we have nobody, so technically it won't be equal anyway. We don't have to balance it out. I like it better if it's disproportionate. But I I, I agree though. It has no physical need. Like yeah, okay, we have no physical need then. Yeah, I I'm, not, I'm I disagree, but I'm not gonna speak my mind. Oh God, why? Well, because like I don't I can't wrap my head around this concept because like. The collective. There's a reason nobody has posted an article for it in like a year. That's also true. But the collective is human people, and human people are having dreams, and human people have sex. So there might be sex in the dreams. So what do you think? This is another nobody I definitely situation. think that. Okay, no, I'm not arguing that. I definitely think there's sex in the dreams. I just think that if it's in the dreams, it's no physical it's not need. Physical, yeah. Unless you're like having a really good time while you're asleep. No, what? not even then, you <laughs> weirdo. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna sleepwalk sex like your brother? No. No, but actually, I'm not gonna. Sleep I'm not gonna answer that. No, I'm not. No, I've had some. I've had some weird times. Anyway, what's the next one? This uh, podcast is just like watching Jack dig himself into a hole, like deeper <laughs> yeah. every passing minute. It's great. It's great. It's Para very Watch. good. Parawatch is next. We all know Parawatch. Parawatch Para is, is a online message board. Actually, I'm gonna say Parawatch is Jack. Just Jack. I was. I was. I was going to here. I'm going to present. I'm going to present something. This is going to yeah. might be seen as controversial. They're conspiracy theorists, right? During the pre-show, Jack was talking about how his father was a conspiracy theorist. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Had to have done. Let me sex. just tell you that he doesn't backfuck. To have Jack. And then to well, have Jack's brother. No, and I wasn't. No, hang on. That's not my dad. That's my. Stepdad. Um, Stepdad. But he does fuck. I I have oh. I have seen no. Thanks no. for telling us, buddy. We have seen. No. Yeah, we uh, don't, you don't have to tell us. We were there, buddy. Oh, okay, cool. This wow, you really? Recording. Yeah, this is being recorded. I just want to remind you guys of that. <laughs> they don't know who I am. We're good. Okay. I want. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to this mom getting railed. <laughs> I kind of want to agree with Plague, but Parawatch, for anyone who doesn't know, is a message board uh, that researches paranormal things. They're kind of like the uh, like 4chan's X board, paranormal. That's what they're based on. It's a vehicle for authors to write creepypasta, essentially. And I think and none of them are good. It, shut up, Rounder. Okay, Brave most hippo. of them I'm are just saying good. we were all thinking it. Most nope. of them are most of them are good, like mine. Mine are very I cherish good. My, I cherish mine. Mine are excellent. Though. But watch is in hog slice and hog slice. Okay, is hippos are good. Peppers is good. None of the. And none, okay, storm breads are good. None of none of the others are good. Yeah, and I, June, cherish, yeah, my, I cherish my rounders down there. Dunes are whatever. pretty good. Dunes are pretty good. But my point is, like on X, like the actual X board, 
there's always threads up like how do i summon a succubus to have sex with you're right i have seen those actually you're right they, those yeah do exist. so i'm thinking like they're incel category because like they're desperate or desperate i'm thinking they're desperate yeah they're, desperate they want demons to desperate too. desperate, I, desperate I, I, I'd, I'd go with desperate i think they have like a weird like how do i how do i summon yeah how do i how do i summon a succubus and it's like how do dude, i fuck a rich foot? <laughs> you could make a really good pair of watch tail out of these. Honestly, you could make a good pair of watch tail out of anything. I mean, yeah. Did I ever tell you guys my ghost story? Tell no. us. Okay, I'll tell. I'll tell you guys after the thing. I remember Harry. Uh, I remember Harry told me to turn into a pair of watch, and I said no. And then I sent it <laughs> to Storm Breath, and I, I was like, if you want to turn this into a pair of watch, you know, you can have it because I don't, I don't, I don't like wearing pair of watches. Anyway. Uh, yes, you told me too as well. Dagon was also there. He can attest that the story was weird as shit. We'll have to have a ghost story episode. Next episode, we're all going to tell our own ghost stories because I'm sure we all have them. I'll yes. Have no, next episode, we're, next episode, we're bringing Grigory on. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh. Dagon, Dagon and Plague remember what we have planned for Grigory. Yep, I, I, yep. that's going to be a great okay. time. I, I assume Prometheus is next? Yep, it is. It is dead. It's the it is dead Anderson Robotics. That's pretty much it. I think that okay. Okay, I'm gonna. I don't. Okay. Third law has its problems, and those problems are named Green Wolf. But the like the cannon my is hat. really good, and that's my, my hat, fucking my hat. fucking hat. It's my fucking that's hat. My fucking hat. Anyway, like overall, the cannon is really good, but like I really, really like Prometheus. The hub is fantastic. All articles have this like delicious like vibe of like sci-fi campiness from the nineties. It's fantastic. But again, it really runs into like the, the problem. GLI format for them. Yeah, again, it runs into the same problem Anderson did where it's like it's cool as hell, but like you have to face the fact that all of these are STEM majors and like you know they weren't getting any. They did not have it. No, like while they were I, in like college for like six that... years or whatever. I'm going to say the same thing that I said for Anderson. I think, you know, the STEM majors are an advantage for the I think game. that Anderson had the benefit of experience, so they were using the sex bots for practice. Prometheus invented the sex bots and then just never gave them up. Yeah, yeah. He just right. never stopped using them. So, uh, I, I, I would level. say, I would jack, I would go with jack. To the jack category. Oh, man. Actually, it could be physical need. Do we no, count? I, I, I so the idea is the idea is that. <laughs> oh Anderson no, probably. I'm sorry. What? Uh, wait, <laughs> Prometheus said thought for a second that when you said Prometheus is next, you were talking about me being the next to guest star. Oh God, no. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. We're very sorry, Prom. We were never maybe, subjected to this. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. But no, Prom, Prom's a good egg. We would never. We would never want to put them on blast like this. And Prom, yes. I'm somehow not a good egg too. Whatever. You're not a good egg, Jack. Oh, you're a shit what? egg. You're a rotten egg, bro. You're a I am, I'm you're a beautiful, like, round, bumpkin egg. Your head. If you were an egg, you're cracked. You're I, was dropped, I was dropped twice. No, I was dropped twice. I can't believe he put the I was, prime. I was prime dropped in GLI at the second base category. <laughs> I was, he, I was he, dropped. He did say war crime genociders have big dicks. He did say that. that they that's do. Like, that is like the most Jack thing I've heard of. <laughs> You don't understand how. No, the most Jack are... thing I heard was him talking about how his dad was getting like mad pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me back on the Prometheus Labs talk because I have a question. So Anderson, we decided that they do fuck, but Prometheus is more advanced than them. Is that what you're saying? Like they they're more absorbed into their work. I would say that I they were less advanced. If anything. They're, they're they're less advanced they're nerdier and therefore they spent they, they can't talk to women they're okay, not wait okay, they had no, no, to no, make I, sex robots yeah no, make them. yes no specifically like okay anderson is like tech bros like you know like technology like up like startup workers who are all like cool silicon valley shit. like yeah startup. they're silicon valley for star like tech bros like versus Prometheus, it's like Microsoft in the 70s, or in the Microsoft in like the, the 80s. It's like lame. There's nothing going on. They're all like sitting in their little cubicles with their like khaki pants and shit. They're not, they're not doing it. Okay. I had the opposite interpretation. I didn't, because I don't read Prometheus that much. 
Okay, interesting. I guess there could be a point for that because it was like the 60s or whatever when Prometheus was like doing stuff. So they were all like, it's the same thing with Arcadia. They were all like doing crack and doing cocaine and like doing LSD and like having wild sex and orgies and shit. Making a lot of money. Yes. All right. I'm reading the description now, and apparently Prometheus did not come directly out of Anderson, and I misunderstood that. I thought no, Prometheus... Anderson, up. Prome- yeah, Prometheus went under, and they went bankrupt, and then Anderson came out of the wreckage. Okay. Word. All right. I'm pretty I'm- sure that you said contrary, but okay. Okay, now <laughs> this raises another question. Phase. This raises another question. Do we count sex with the robots as sex? I yeah. Think yes. I don't, I don't, I don't, no, that'd be, that'd be masturbation. No, 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 no. I don't think that's masturbation. I think it depends entirely on whether the robot is like sentient or not. I yeah. I wouldn't even say I wouldn't yeah, even see, say it. It only counts if they're sentient. Is a vibrator not just a robot? No, no, no. A robot is is an is an autonomous thing capable of performing actions independent of of something working with it okay first of all that's not true like empirically that's, that's, yeah, not, that's true. not true second that's of all it implies that a Roomba is a robot and that if it you have robot. sex with a Roomba that is that implies that if you have sex with a Roomba you've lost your virginity which I disagree <laughs> with you lose your virginity to a couch cushion uh, what what <laughs> Okay, if Excuse a Roomba me? is a robot, okay, if a Roomba is a robot, then you guys are all like accepting that. Okay, I'm not gonna question the mechanics it's of where you would stick it on a Roomba, but I'm just saying that by establishing that a Roomba is a robot, you were establishing that if you have sex with a Roomba, you've lost your virginity. I think this is very specific, and Roundr may or may not have. What do you mean in the bl- Roombas do not have blades. We have Yasi here. Yasi's gonna okay. give us something. Uh, according to my research, I cannot find any studies as to whether or not this would count as masturbation. Whoa, right, no way. Can you imagine well, a Roomba like, need to nuke oh. this channel Can you imagine a Roomba with fucking circular blades? I like, like, like a fucking... <laughs> Like, um, this is a, a tangent longer. and we're get, we're getting off track but i just want to note that okay. given the roomba blade conversation in the chat i want to note that i had no idea about this until recently but like the roomba company like irobot or whatever they're called they have a roomba but like as a lawnmower like it's a gigantic roomba it's like two feet wide and you just set it on your lawn and you just go and it just like cuts your lawn for you which i think is badass so so the cool. roomba company is named irobot but they're not robots yeah us. Okay. Raises a lot Sussy. of questions. Sussy. I don't think I trust them. I am. Um, I'm going. I'm. I'm going with. Uh, what was the original thing that I was going with? Fuck, I forgot. I forget. We're on such a tangent with this. We went. We went know. for the. They. They are nerds, and they. I don't are, think they're um, desperate. I was thinking Vol cells since they're nerds. They're focused okay, on. Their yeah, Vol cell works. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll. I'll concede. Let's go wait, with wait, that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the next okay, one up, is, so I can't see this one, but that's fine. Next one up is Sarkic cults. Sark is oh, okay. Well, this one's cells. easy. It's cells. They fuck. Yeah, they, yeah, they fuck. fuck. There's no way. They're, 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 they're the like meat Sarkic, people. There's like Sarkic sex rituals and stuff. Yeah. That's okay. Harder. Okay. Yeah, you're you're totally right. Sorry. Yeah. Fucks. On one like hand, the- I would like to I would like to admit that they do fuck, but on the other hand, okay, I don't want to be. I've never read guy. anything from them. I, I want to note that you guys went around here in 2018 and 2019, and in those years, everybody who was like, okay, this still happens now, but like, everybody who was into like mechanites and like sarkics and stuff, like not just like into them from a wiki perspective, like really like reading about them, they were all horny. Like it was a weird correlation. If you liked sarkics, you had a way bigger chance of being a horny weirdo. Isn't it like? Same? I think that's about right. <laughs> they like, like skin. They just like yeah, skin. the skin meat people. <laughs> There's a lot of like. I'm not trying to diss on Grigory and... here. I'm not trying to knock on Grigory here. I'm just saying that if you like oh, obsessed yeah. with a geo that's all about like the flesh or whatever, I'm gonna raise my eyebrow at you whenever you're talking about like whether the GUI fucks or not. I think that's fair. They do. Would... Th- all right. Yeah, you're right. I think we're in agreement fucks. that they do fuck, but they're yeah. very weird. Yeah, they're, they're weird they about fuck. it. They're, they have weird kinks. They have. They're like. It's like the feet kink of the anomalous. You know, like they. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so that has that imply does that imply feet are like normal in the anomaly? Yes. yes. Jack just, Jack just felt like a weight lift off his shoulders. He's like <laughs> finally normal. 
I don't have a peek. It's like this Jack's is, life before. This is like the 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 screenshot with like the the note. You are not normal. <laughs> There, I don't have a feet kink. I should just We're here mention that. Jack, Thank you for telling us, Jack. It's 2021. You can just like. I don't admit like it. feet. I, We're not going like to judge feet. you. According to my research, Jack is lying. <laughs> okay, th <laughs> thanks, Jesse. According to academic studies, Jack no is problem. lying and does, in fact, have a foot fetish. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm going to have to disagree with Chad here and say that it is weird. Okay, Lizard, I'm going to ban you. <laughs> You're going to ban me? I'm just gonna note that it is weird. It is Sorry. weird. I'm not going to like accept harbor discussion on that. Out of all the stuff you could be into, feet are definitely like I would, I really, like, like I would be like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like feet. That's my. That's my. I think the issue is it's not like, it's not an absurdly odd kink. It's just like the people who are into it are very weird. Yeah. Yeah, just like, like the people who write. If you're into garlic. feet, that's fine. But don't be like licking the soles and like going in between the. Toes. I know it when I see all it, right. Steph. Like, don't be, don't be, like, trying to, like, don't be trying, don't be like a Roomba trying to suck up, like, the dirt, like, that's- Don't be a Roomba? <laughs> okay, I wasn't planning on it. Yeah. Okay, anyway, right, we decided to fuck. Yeah. They fuck. Yeah, they fuck. Okay, moving on. Is <laughs> Serpent's hand? Um, Serpent I think, they fuck. They like, aren't they just, like, normal people, right? No, they're, like, they're, like, magicians the and shit. They're, like, wizards who, like, live yeah, in the library. Yeah, they have, they, they get, they get, like, all the pussy for, like, the magic tricks and shit, like doing crazy shit, like, uh, like Sledge's. What was Sledge's article about exploring the uh, the uh, graveyard city? Like, Sledge's yeah, article? Yeah, yeah it's, in, for, it's in the. I, we're talking about different things, aren't we? Maybe, but I I, 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 I read all of fucks. Sledge's articles. You don't want to quiz me here. I think yeah. he's talking about one of the li library articles. Yeah, it, yeah, it, 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 was, the, um, it was the scavenger. It's hunt. called Morgue City. Someone pull it up. Oh, yeah, it was Morgue City. That's right. That's not a Sludge article. Yes, it, yeah, is. it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It's on yeah. the Wanderers Library. Oh, on Wanders. Oh, I thought you meant like an No, okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on. In the chat, no. Yeah, more City Shuffle, there it is. That's 23. That's really good for library. I'll get through whatever. Maybe I'm not into either of that. Sludge's Wanders stuff, so that's, you're right. I stand correct. You should do that. They're good. I know. Hang on, wait. Let me, wait, let me. I see in the chat that I only I only said one. Yeah, this podcast is violently straight. We're going to have to bring some token minorities on next episode. They're already the token minority. No, we're not. We're not. Well, we're, yeah, we have, inclusive. we have Plague and, and me. We're both Italians. So yeah, we're, yeah, you're Italian. I'm brown. Minority. Jack is a white American, like, Catholic. Yeah, I'm not so actually we're... Catholic. What? No, I'm not a Catholic. Why are you, you think I'm a Catholic? No, I'm not a Protestant. Sorry, Why were you more offended at being called a Protestant? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not either. I mean, do I come off as a Catholic? Yeah. 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 Jack, I I'm went to like, Catholic. Jack, listen, I went to Catholic school and you like literally I could have went to school with you. Like that's, no, that's I'm like non-denominational, like non-religious. Okay, that's fair. Oh, wow. I'll accept that. Yeah, that's probably right. I went to a Jewish preschool. Yeah, like that's why I thought you were Catholic. You were offended that I thought you were a Protestant. <laughs> that's the biggest <laughs> argument being Catholic there is. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a Catholic thing. In, in kindergarten, I would get locked in lockers. I would get shoved in lockers in, in kindergarten. And, what does uh, this have to do with being religious? I just, well, it's I, just a story. I just, I just remember now, like when we're talking about being preschool and like kindergarten. Okay. All right. Uh, so I, so I, the serpent's hand. hand are in the library, which I think is my my specialization. So I'm gonna say that I would say that. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm trying to think of whether I should justify whether the library has a no sex rule or not. I think Wait. I think you could fuck in the library because it's so big. It's infinite. It's so <laughs> big. You could just walk it's in a random moments. direction until nobody else that's is like around. That's like public shaming kink. Like that's as long as you're as long as you're quiet about it. I... As you're quiet, not making noise. You, if you go far enough, yes, people do live in the library. People do live in the library. Gregory. They just have like a special spot where they. It's just I like. Think. They just have like explicit reading and they just like- Dude, I agree with Dagon on this one. You could totally fuck in the library, but it has to be educational. 
Yeah. <laughs> Round two, two plus two. Up, adult section in the Wanderers it's library. Like no I mean, isn't it I, mean I, I expect there, there, there. I expect there has to be, like, just mechanics. Every book's ever written. There's, yeah. there's like an erotic, like, <laughs> realm in the Wanderers library. We're getting so fucking banned after this. Oh, 100 percent. This is very inappropriate. Yes. So what are we going with? Um, it's, it, Serpent's hand my, fucks. Yes, think, it fucks. I think it fucks. I said that in the beginning. All right, so we're ready to move on. The one next one is Shark Punching Center, which is an unfunny joke Incels. that is played out. Incels. Yeah, they're in. No, no, I think that's I a hog this slice situation. Listen, no. I think it's a hog slice thing where they're hog so slice is entertaining. On... SBC that's, is no, not. Wait, no, 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 no. They're not on the same level of fine, comedy. Fine. I'm thinking from like a level of like their personalities where the shark hog slice and the shark punch people are so focused on like being complete assholes to their specific like targets that they are voluntarily celibate. I yeah, suppose there's an you argument can't for get that. It. But I, on the... I think I just can't get it. They're so unfunny that they just Okay, can't. see, here's my thing on that. I think that Plague is right, but Dune is also right. I think that Plague, I think the SPC people think that they are voluntarily celibate, but like on some like deeper heart of hearts level, they know that if they did proposition someone, they would always get turned down. Yeah, yeah. I think incels. I just don't so, want to acknowledge the fact that like SCP or SPC would like do work, so I don't want to put them in the Volcel category. Right. No. That's a fair point. They're, they're not. Okay, I could go by desperate, but nothing. I'm, nothing I'm gonna say that. incel, incel. Incel. Oh put them in incel. Okay, we're reaching the last couple now. Three moons are, initiative. Don't explain what the Someone Three Moons Initiative is. Yes, they I'm are a, a a group of people dedicated to helping humanity. They're in some heaven-like uh, dimension where it's run by a, the god of like a spider god or something, and they watch over humanity and make sure that they will make it into this heaven area called Corbinic. Is okay. this like and I have a complex like, I have like complex thoughts on Three Moons Initiative because like when I wasn't an author and like when I when I, I didn't even have an account, I was just like reading the website and like read clicking the random article button and like seeing articles. Which I did for like six months, I swear. And like I I read all of the Corbinic articles that were out at the time. I was like, this is so cool. I've never seen anything like this on the site. It doesn't have a hub, it doesn't have anything. It's just like randomly connected skips that are like super interesting and about this weird alternate dimension. And then I became an author and then like 20 seconds later, I was like, wow, I don't give a shit about any of this. I think it's cool. I think David Fool did a really good job with that. Is this yeah, like, I, I think it's good. I just, like, it doesn't in interest me anymore. Do you but think they fuck something... angels in the afterlife? No, like, there's no angels. Well, it's not like a Catholic no, no, afterlife. You guys have weird well, dimension like... with like giant monkeys that like crush okay. people. Okay, and, sorry. Um, like a giant God that eats people. What if and, like they're at that? war, like every but like when you get there, you're in your like your physical body. So like, I think the first article that mentioned them, it was like Wait, husband and wife thing. I remember this the now. There's like there's a specifically like in the original Corbinic article. There's a section where they go to like the the palace of like the elephant god or whatever, and there's a gigantic orgy going on, which automatically yeah, yeah. places them in the fuck category. Yeah, yeah. but I think so, it's like I think this is human society. It's like basically a human society that's just a little bit more off in this weird world, because the three moons are the three different Earths that got like transported there on accident. So, right. if it's this is human society, they are having lots of sex. And just I also want to put a disclaimer as well that all of these like be, just because Arcadia is like in the very top does not mean it's good. Like all of these are just based off how they fuck, right? It's not like yeah, this isn't okay. in any particular order. Yeah. Okay, cool. But also to clarify, Three Moons is a pet GUI, right? This is a yeah. David Phil exclusive. This is a David Phil joint. Okay, D I didn't know that because I never read it. Okay, well I, I think we can put them in the fucks category. They fuck. I agree. If if you said there's an orgy, I agree. Thanks, Plague. I'm glad you trust me. <laughs> okay, you the, you are you. This one's a tough year. You are you. Oh no. I think hang on. They're like the stint or I guess not really like the they're kind of like the STEM major guys, but like law enforcement almost. Jack, I they're not say, STEM majors, they're cops. Yeah. They're cops. No, no, they're I'm not, cops. They're, I'm, but they're like in the same umbrella. They're not okay, like, they're, they're like whole thing is that they're inept. Isn't that like the whole like yeah, like the headcanon that they're I so think UI useless. Yeah. I they're think desperate. the I think desperate. I think UIU fucked Bigfoot. That's my thesis. <laughs> they fucked Volcells. I would go with Volcells. 
I think like no, they're not voluntarily celibate. No, they I... they like want to have sex. They want to be those big tough guys. Yeah, I no, I agree that I think that the uh, the FBI's unusual incidents unit would like attract a lot of like tough like jock types and every second probably... base there. They're gonna have like families at home, things like that. They're just normal, like capable, athletic people. I, I don't think it's uh, anything like um, the STEM majors that you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think they're normal people, but they're cops and they fuck Bigfoot. So that, I think I would put them in the desperate category. That I can't say they're incels because they did fuck Bigfoot, but I can't say that they're like actually like normal either. I, yeah, and I don't want to confuse I don't want to confuse have to take the into guy, account that they guy. are known as the inept GOI who needs help. They okay, suck. Yeah, they're, like yeah. their whole thing is that they're bad. Yep, desperate. I'll I'll concede with desperate. There's so like, much anger wanna... towards STEM majors in this podcast. Thanks, Gregory. Oh, STEM I just, majors. I just want to shit on them because like that's like ninety yeah. percent of our audience. Yeah. Honestly, I like I like UIU, but only because I really like, like X Files vibes on stuff. I think they're cool. I Jake think... just had that really good article at the train. I don't remember that one. Oh wait, yes I do. Twenty six ten. That that one's good. Yeah. That one's one of my favorites. Was it a tra- wait, is it a train? It wasn't it was like a train. A train. The, the was, train it an accurate, was it an accurate portrayal of a train on the SCP wiki? Yes, it was an accurate portrayal oh, yeah, of a train. It was the on first the one ever. Yeah. Okay, just making sure, because as we all know, this wiki has like a bit of a history with inaccuracies yes. and railroads. It's, it's a big fucking that and uh, chiropractors. Bad chiropractors. Like, yes, that for what chiropractors. Was it, what was that one guy who would go around and like totally just shit on people who were like train skips or whatever, and they would just totally? That was just... Uh, the Gone Rounders article. He's like, it was only one guy. That's the only comment he ever made it's a mystery to me what was he doing he made a comment on mine too i thought no but what about a train that is fantastic train maybe guy he read it maybe he wasn't on there was a Wait, guy no, 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 going yeah. on yeah you got a compliment on yours right because they said you wrote the train right Did I? <laughs> yeah i i don't even know i was told that i wrote the wrong train like in the wrong like the train that i had on the picture was from like new england and i was writing about in like indy like america like the united states oh well, I guess you wrote the train wrong then. Well, no, I mean, they said that it was like okay, everything else was fine and that they could, like, it was like whatever. But I know this guy was like going on Reddit and was like just totally shitting on all these articles with trains and like going through and like just like saying how unbelievable it was that people would write it like this and that no one knows shit about trains. And I don't, we'll I don't have him on anything. eventually. I think a train guy guest episode would be good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll track him down. Get him on. We'll track him down. So, where are we putting UIU? Desperate. I think desperate. 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 Okay. All right. Next we up. We have two more. Wandsman and then. Well, Wandsman is incel. Man. I'm just noting that. Wandsman is incel. Wandsman is because no one knows. Okay. Well, Gregory, Wandsman is on the page, and I have 20 minutes to set this up. So. Yeah, Wandsman is, is incel. There's no discussion. Yeah, There's just no literally debate. no Boy. argument here. Wandsman <laughs> is incel. If their need was not on the groups of interest page, you need to fix that. Yeah. You have more yeah. than enough articles for it. Yeah, we we, we no, that's gonna be covered in mine. Dune is doing a different VKTM. Someone, I make yeah, I'm making one. I'm making one where they fuck. I'm also making one where they fuck, so we're gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna yeah, yeah there's gonna be articles about articles. fucking. This is so dumb. Wait, we need to uh, explain what Wandsman. Wandsman are like articles. interdimensional um like news reporters, but they yeah, made fun of the Wanderers' lives. We even have to yeah, explain what the Wandsman are. No one they cares. Suck. They suck. God, we're being mean. They're, in the, cool. they're in the bad category with um. We are. We are with the Herman Fuller. They're yes, they're in the Herman Fuller like subset of losers. This is why life solutions. We already established that they're insult. Let's just move on. No, they're no. not. Wilson, 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 Wilson is good. good I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the Wandsman. I'm saying let's move on. Like we've already oh, said. Yeah, well, Wandsman is Wandsman incel, is inarguably. Okay, I'll... Sigma 9. I think yes, it's Sigma I would 9. Agree. Okay, wait. I, I think he may also. No. Like, no. No. Oh, no. no. no, Jack. Shut up. It's bad. shut up, Jack. You don't slander Tim Wilson. Yeah, like that, don't. Okay? Yeah, shut up, Jack. No, even the chat is mad at you. I'm just talking about Tim. I know, shut up. Yeah, you don't <laughs> slander Tim Wilson. He's a good man. What the fuck? He tries his best. Okay, <laughs> I just, yeah, like, yeah, Jack, shut up. Uh, <laughs> I, I, in like canonically, I think the whole thing is that Faye Wilson is Tim Wilson's daughter, right? Which automatically yeah. at least is fucked. But I would also elevate 
Wilson's Wildlife Solutions to Sigma Nine Mail because he's oh, like, yeah. He, too. yeah, he's like, he's he's out there, he's volunteering his time, he's helping the animals. You know, he's, he's a stand-up guy. He's a real chat. Those are points. Yeah, those are points. I tell you, it's also nine. like a big element of those articles is that Wilson is constantly at ends with like the world itself. Like he's low budget. Like they're constantly trying to. Yeah, like, he's a fighter. Themselves. Yeah, he's he's a guy that is willing to fight what he believes in. I'm saying that's a kiss. Or He's whatever a... it is. Okay, that's the last one. There we, we are. Need. We need to do a candor need. Okay, yeah, we need to do a candor need. Uh, we're, the candor we're... fucks. No, we not yet. Also, not I, yet. I in two weeks they will. In, have, in like two weeks they will. Form. I, I think it's no physical form. need. Yeah, I think it's no physical okay. need. Yeah, definitely no physical, physical need. need. Yeah, I would, I would kind of argue about has, has reached second base, but I'll go with no physical need. We'll just okay. imagine they're there. Okay, perfect. We got Good it. Good job, guys. So uh, 15 minutes left. Should we go through and discuss anything? Is the chat want us to discuss I think anything? I, I wanted Jack to do a, a dramatic reading of Big Dick Chappelle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. What if, we, what if we expanded this to uh, to International GOIs? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know any of these. Three-hour runtime. Because yes. we'd have to research them first. Okay, what about we do, we can do it as a lightning round? We can do it as a lightning round. Like two or three VK, VKTM or Vikander Need articles. We can do it as a lightning <laughs> round. Can someone, can, someone, can someone link the International GOIs list in the in the note, Mike? Okay, wait, One so of our dear have, listeners. We have shit to do after 15 minutes, so we need to get something going. Do you want me okay, to we'll, we'll do the lightning round another day. For now, we, we Jack, start reading Big Dick Chappell. Okay. Yeah, pull that up. Don't, big, don't pull it up. Big. I'm not gonna rate the trash fire GYs. Okay, words of wisdom. Which one is it? Someone link. It's the first one. Okay. Words of wisdom. Okay. Words of wisdom uh, from the desk of Richard Chappelle, uh, SCP-046 Ark, and fam infamous Chicago spirit leader Richard Chappelle was detained by the Foundation in 1933 after a raid on his estate and placed in containment. Due, due to Chappelle's increasing age, both his mental and physical wellness rapidly deteriorated during his confinement. In his last few years, he was a shell of his former self, often ranting to himself about topics no one else quite understood or lost in his own memories. What follows is a short collection of some of his more outrageous statements collected by personal nurses. I, uh, what? Oh, the Phillies won. Sorry. <laughs> Get the shit out of me. Congratulations, I Plague! <laughs> I don't the trust one, they gotta walk off home run. Or fish fuck and that stuff, see? Um, I don't think children should be heard or seen. Fuck them. No children. <laughs> uh, you know, I saw some kid putting ketchup on his hot dog today. Really pissed me off. I yeah, do the him. voice. You're not. You're not doing the voice. What's the voice? He's imagine. A, he's he's a, like an Italian guy. He's like a I prohibition know. gangster. You need to do the voice. I get banned. I don't know how to Italians fucking sound. What? <laughs> you have to be what like. Do you mean you don't know how to Italian my sound? Father and your I can't blow those dust. Women. Ah. Nope, that's not it. Can't do it. Like no, I saw some little kid putting ketchup on his hot dog today. Really pissed me off like that. Yeah, yeah like that. New Jersey. Oh, fuck. Okay. Like Joe Pat. You're making it like Sands from Undertale? Is that what you're saying? It's not Sands. What? Sands doesn't <laughs> talk. Well, like, okay. What am I doing? I'm, my head's hurting. You okay. know who I don't trust? Women. And men are on thin fucking ice! Is it okay to say Oriental? I can't remember. It's like, channel your inner Tony Soprano. You know what I, I hate? Clowns. clowns. Fuck them and fuck their milk. Fucking gabagool. G gabagool. I went to the soup's kitchen the other day because I got a bit peckish and didn't want to buy anything. So a lot of Italians there. We sure do live in a society. That's not how we talk, Jack. <laughs> Shut up! I don't do the know. voice. I can't voice. do voices. Plague, read the next one. Okay, yeah, you read. When I was younger, my mother used to put a <laughs> thermometer in my ass. I rather enjoyed that. <laughs> I saw a man kiss another man the other day. Awful brave of him. They say it's a bad idea. Has anybody really tried to put cocaine up their ass? <laughs> yeah, this is good. Wait, hold on. Let me do one of them. Wait, where were we? Rob, oh, we're on the rats. kill rats. Uh, okay, yeah. I used to kill rats with a baseball bat. Still do. Just use a cricket bat now. Why the range? 
Hey yo, <laughs> hey, what the fuck is a cricket? What the and fuck one of them is Irish cricket? Boys? You know these holes. You, you know those holes <laughs> in the bottom of barrels. Got my schlong stuck in one of them once. You know what? Some schlong. Fuck fairies. Ought to give them a whack with an iron bat if they don't shut up about being oppressed. Met a gay <laughs> robot today. Cool. Cool. D if Chester Come on, Williams, Jeff, is we're waiting for you. I'm, no, I suck with the voice. I can't do the voice. I suck. I'll do it. I'll finish it. Gave Chester Williams a skull for his birthday. Didn't seem to like it. James, I like that skull. Okay, Jack does the rest. I insist. Oh, I met this stupid doctor guy. Fuck. <laughs> Somebody wrote spoken lowercase letters. I don't know how that works, but he does. Fuck him anyways. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, God, that's one. <laughs> not, uh, who can vote me if you freeze him first? I remember when I was one of them sea people. Got the girls and everything. That's one of my favorite lines that I put in it. It's just amazing. That's a good one. If you suck the bullets and whiskey, they scream longer. That Eleni came up with that, if you can believe it. Okay, hang on. I'm getting told to do something. <laughs> I'm telling you to do something. Read the thing. Okay. I'll do this one. I like this one. Okay, go ahead. Some, dumb, some dumbass served me thin crust the other day. The real piece that shouldn't have so much modern knot. Oh, it doesn't have so much modern knot in him anymore. <laughs> Excellent. I went to a threesome one time. The girl never showed up, but, uh, Mama didn't raise no quitter. That's my favorite by far. That's the best <laughs> one. Good one. Everybody always comes to tell me, hey, you see the boners in the paper today? Fine stuff. But buddy, I don't need no paper to check out some boners. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite ones in all of this are the ones where he's like implicitly saying he's gay. <laughs> Those are good. I, I saw a man kiss house. another man today. <laughs> Very brave of him. That's a good one. <laughs> Why don't homeless people just buy a house? Should we talk about uh, the the one about the, the penis? Should we talk about the, the thing that we were talking about earlier with the um? Never, actually, never mind. I don't want to talk about it. No, now I'm what interested. Are what are you referring about? to? What are you referring to? <laughs> in, in the other chats, we were talking about um. It was like yesterday. We were going about like your <laughs> socks. He's trying to get out of reading the article. <laughs> Finish the article. Just read the next quote, Jack. Fuck! I can't do the voice! Okay, which one is okay, it? Okay, fine, don't do the voice, just do it. Hey! I, I, <laughs> hey! I can wipe my own ass! Fuck off! I'm screaming in an apartment. I hope your parents heard that. I had a goldfish, he's going to live forever. I know that because he never sinks to the bottom and drowns. <laughs> that one's so good, it's like this, like, Elmo-inspired, oh god. Yeah, it's hard to understand when you're yelling, just say it like a normal person. So I was shoot uh, so, so I was shooting up hair behind the spirit. That's it. That's the end of the story. Your parents are too busy slamming to hear Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, don't, you'll you'll catch it on the recording. Yeah. Okay. You'll we'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> you never all hate people without eyelids. Granted, I'm usually the reason they don't have eyelids, but still. Why don't orphans just, just buy a parent? There was a petting zoo yesterday. No, you need doing to do this one. Okay. There was a petting zoo yesterday, and you didn't fucking tell me. I also need doing to do this next one. Listen, son. When I was your age, we didn't call a man who wanted to dress up like a coyote and have sex with another man dressed up like a bear a furry. We didn't call that man anything at all. That was just polka night. Hippo wrote that one, I think. That's a good one. Yeah. Look, I'm not look, gay, but a full set of adult human teeth is a full set of adult human teeth. Okay, the wrong dick sucker. <laughs> I'm taking this one. Fuck the disabled. They're goddamn beautiful and horny as hell. <laughs> okay, this one, I need plague for this one. Well, a black man with a white woman today. The world is truly cool. Cruel. How do the gals get all the good ones? That's another one. That's another one. Yes. Do they still do full body bone replacements? My spine itches. <laughs> they call me Dick Chappelle because the whole congregation comes into worship. Jack did this one. I had to pet a cat today. It bit me. Now it lives in the river. <laughs> you know he'd say this shit about his own cat. 
I will. I'm about to put him out the window here in a second. I don't get why oh. people say cognito hazards are so bad. Like, just look away from the paper. Hey, guard. You want to snort some crack? That was the last one. Okay, Jack. Well, no, hang on. I don't like the. Okay, I think I might be gay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Someone that sound. Someone nip that, and we're gonna use it and yeah, remix we're, it. And yeah, we're clip. Put it everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna got clip got that from the. 4K. I'm gonna Pop clip that from the 4K. audio recording while I'm editing, and just. I'm adding it, this to Jack's Wikipedia page. Yeah, have it play oh, over yeah. the. Have it play over the Jack GIF, like the one where he's <laughs> looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we have like a few minutes. Uh, one second. All right, I think that's everything. That is. Very good I, job. That's everything. Uh, that was the inaugural episode of Yurtcast, I think. We haven't decided on our name yet. It's going to be Yurtcast or Dunghouse. That's your a way works. shittier name. I think Yurtcast works. I think it's Yes, Yurtcast does work. I if think we, we, went with, if we went with Dunghouse, we'd have to find a way to incorporate Jack into the name, and that's just too much time and brain power. Yeah, we're not doing that shit. <laughs> Don't have I, like a I, I thought I was just a guest. I thought this was just like me being a guest. We thought you were also a guest, but like coming to think of it, you made great <laughs> comic relief, so we might just have you like on retainer. Okay. We just we need you here, Jack. We need we need someone to take the brunt. <laughs> yeah. Of Otherwise, we're gonna cannibalize you know, each other. You don't realize that as soon as this is done, I'm so getting banned. <laughs> okay. okay. If you're are. getting banned. We're all getting banned. We've said way yeah. worse shit. Yeah. This is. I want to yeah. thank. I want to thank everyone who sat through this. The yeah, one this, hour, is, this has been two minutes. hours of sitting through I our bullshit. Believe, thank yeah. you guys. And I, I'm, 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 I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is crazy. I, I generally thought like you by now. Can I turn off the recording now? Yes, 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 please. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Let Let me, bye. Bye. Goodbye, America. Bye. One moment. Thank everyone. Let me grab the command.